All right, then. All right, then. Don't wear the signed jersey. Why? I'm never gonna sell it. That's mine forever. It's not like I care about the price of it. It's mine. You can't wash it? Yeah, I won't. I like the smell of my own sweat. Also, the shy licked it, so... Everyone take a deep breath. Okay, one thing I will say, one thing I will say, before we move on to the Weibo series, I want to say, as much as I am a KT hater, it does come up from a place of like, you know, trying to make it so other people who are fans of KT see them mold. It doesn't actually come from a place of thinking KT is a bad team. And I will say, wholeheartedly, respect to KT. They had the hardest run humanly possible through Swiss and they made it. So I want to take a second to say, respect. Everyone put some respect on KT's name. They had to go through the hardest run possible. And so, seeing them in top 8 is deserved. If any team goes through that run, it's deserved, no matter what. It's super deserved, if anything. So respect, KT. Respect. I'm about to get fired. Okay. We betrayed G2. And we're betraying Fnatic. Listen. Like I said. It's not personal. It isn't. If the Shy was on Fnatic, I'd be supporting you. But he isn't. Is he? He isn't. So therefore... The Shy will win. And he will carry your heads as a trophy around his neck. As he moves into the next round, where he will face up against KT and get his revenge. Cool. Anyway, how's your guys' day been going? Six is good, nine is bad. How's your day going? To worlds where oh, we're yeah. about to head into two LEC versus LPL matchups. First, though, I would like to take a minute to congratulate KT and commiserate with the plus Kia. Um, I don't know with which one you want to start. Let's Maurice. let's let's start with DK, then we end on a positive note, right? Because I think for DK, unfortunately, this was a very everyone breathe in ending to their year. It just everyone has breathe out. Felt like this roster ever seemed to be on the same page. This guy says and just came home a from a party, but it's Weibo time. Bracket, Listen, obviously, a little the party's about you know, to get started. The, you just turned up to the party, more like you didn't just come home from one. Team, this is where the, the party the begins, baby. Indicator. This and is and where it begins. Even in this series, a lot of the things that allowed DK to do well were also due to KT just not really having a moment or having too much of a okay, moment. Okay, Fnatic. Listen. Uh, and, 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 and unfortunately, Weibo this might also be the last time that we you see to sacrifice yourself together, for them. Right? The they need it. Left doesn't make quarters for the first time. Uh, when I didn't want yeah, it to be you. I wanted it to be one of these two. I did, but it wasn't. So I'm sorry. One of three Korean teams now to not make I'm sorry. To the when making it to the World Championship. Sad for DK. I do want to get your take on Keith, KT as well because I had a lot of trouble discerning kind of level. I want to say. Perfect. Right? That's, <laughs> okay. that's, 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 yeah, that's the team. That's the team. All right, ads will run. This is the is final ads. Be free zeroed in hey, quarters? That's it. Sick, you, they, Except for that one you can sub to avoid it, but you don't have to. The ads will finish. The game will start. Or they're going to win worlds. They made it in with I the have, hardest schedule yeah. of any team. That is, so I think that actually plays a big part. I also think this KT team just defies logic. Trying to understand yeah. them just doesn't really work. Uh, I am... Um, the enemy. They, they That's me to play. Europe. They, like, they, they should be. They are good. Kind of. they are I think good. it's just the fact that it's so inconsistent. I right? am As not you say, your like, We just enemy. highlighted at the start of the day how good Koz was against enemy. LNG. <laughs> and then I don't know if Koz was in the game. <laughs> I got to see throughout that entire series. I think it was so, necessary. Yeah, so it just and, feels yeah. so all over the joint. And even with aiming being the, the reason why the game doubled in length, he was also the reason why they won. So like, yeah. hey, it's Katie. Every player has the story of Kang Seung-Luk. 
the legend who burst onto the scene and completely reshaped the way the game was meant to be played. Does that sound like a familiar tale? It should, because he's also known as the Shy. Let's talk about the Shy though, because this is a guy who's becoming a household name. For me, he's a player that you watch, and he's just a transcending top player mm -hmm. that people can look at and confidently say that he is the best player in the world. It's insane that coming into this one, that a lot of the eyes of these insane carry top laners are looking onto him to see if they can topple him. And I know uh, from talking to a lot of teams, you know, when they're making these little different tier lists of, of picks that you're aiming for early, you make a normal tier list, mm -hmm. and then you make for when you're facing the shy. Where oh, we can't give him Jace, we can't give him what, this. Which one do you give him? King, yeah, Conqueror, God. <laughs> there are many different ways to describe such a player. A player so talented that his enemies devote every waking minute invading his lane kingdom but his true power doesn't come from his lading or his mechanics no <laughs> no his true power yeah. comes from his aura oh. because when you're playing versus the shy it is his world and you're just living in it okay wayward looking for the solo bolo on the shy tian coming over flashing the wall they gotta get it the buckler oh! The shot gets the outplay in the end, and don't step to Giga Shy. If he can find the stun, this could be a kill from the shy. Flashes in and punishes the bumble. The shy waiting for cooldowns here. The knockback comes through, oh. and the shy with yet another solo kill. No matter how much you put him down, the no matter how many defeats, at any given moment you'll be given a reminder. You are playing against the shy. The shy just jumps on top of and turns him to pieces. The shy is a monster in the 2v1. The game quality seems super low. And then they went on to beat Uzi and beat Faker and 3-0 the day to make groups. So one of my theories on Fnatic is the worse they look in their latest victory, the stronger they become in the I next like game. I like it. Oh, my God. You're talking my language. Uh, this is also <laughs> Holy Hans. Holy fuck. can't forget that tiebreaker versus LNG, which was insane. I just wanted a little bit of hopium. But... As you said already, Dagda, uh, let's get into this one specifically. You brought up the mid lane matchup, Humanoids versus Xiao, who featured matchup presented by Mercedes. I'm Benz. sorry, Fnatic. We need to dive into it because Xiao hasn't been having I'm the sorry, best Fnatic. time at Worlds in general, but will Humanoid be able to capitalize? Yeah, I think a huge amount of what Xiao who was back when he was an RNG and coming in towards Weibo was, hey, I'm going to try and control side lanes. I'm going to like drop waves. I'm going to play for bot lane, try and play for top side, make sure that I'm able to control the game. That hasn't really been happening in this World's Championship. He's been targeted a lot, and we got to see that great against Mad here, where you kind of take out the captain of Weibo, and it's like, well, what do you actually have to steer the ship? And I think this is going to be another tactic that Fnatic been are going to try and employ here as well. Fnatic, for Humanoid and Razor, the they've King's been so good at working paradise. as a duo all year long, and now here, if they can try and take out Xiao Hu once more, it feels like if Humanoid gets an Azir, this is where Fnatic has what? played through their strengths, which has been that mid-jungle. Uh, additionally, I what also think that Fnatic in the series against C9 showed that uh, it was it was a messy series, right? Against Weibo, I don't know what the outcome is today, <laughs> but Weibo is never Weibo wins. Be clean, that's the outcome. Right? Like I think that there always is going to be what a very never be uh, inherent element of chaos to this series, and maybe the series that Fnatic have played up until this part can help them a little bit with that and keeping their composure as well. On the counter side, Fnatic hasn't had the best time versus LPL in general. Of course, they didn't win versus LNG. They didn't win versus. Win versus Let's go back to the last time the Shy played versus Fnatic. Go check game. that. And when we yeah. look at Weibo, go they are also that. a very hard team to read because they have great players pound for pound, but I think even the LPL fans who have watched them all year have been screaming at us, this is what always happens with Weibo. 
they just don't have consistency. One player that's been weirdly consistent for them so far has been the shy. Yeah. Which is really not what you'd expect. I like one of his post-game interviews where he said his coach introduced a new Aatrox build, which allowed him to reconsider the champion. And a lot of that was Gore Drinker and Steric. So you can see if you're the old Duskblade Aatrox, those openings are actually a one-shot, but it's just not the case. And he's been putting himself in these very the daring situations and making the outplays. The one of the things that has <clears> been consistent about the shy, even when he was in the LPL and being a bit quote unquote like coin flippy, was how strong he was in lane. Every single split without fail, he'd be top two, top three when it came to gold. Little bro 14, didn't know about Gore Sterex, bro. And shut I up. Think that's where we're starting to see him shine once more on picks like the Aatrox, where he's able to play hyper aggressive in lane, get these advantages, and then turn them into big team fight leads for Weibo as well. And also, I think it should be look at his wings, look Weibo at them. That they had a game in which their he mid was very, very behind, very losing and they still ended up winning that game. So I think uh, in terms of that, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, who's just that good? <laughs> He's just, all yeah. he needed was one charm. Exactly. It's the way it was. Um, now Always let's kind up. of, before we get into the game, Jet, let's talk a little bit about kind of how important it would be uh, for both of these teams to, to get in to the quarterfinals and how big this match is. Yeah, absolutely. You can see here Fnatic really clutching out this series against Cloud9. There were early games in this series ban where Aatrox? to no, me don't it ban looked Aatrox. like Cloud9 was going to have the Leave it open. Hand, don't be weird. Leave it open. But it was in the decisive mid game team fights that the Fnatic team was able to win. So there's going to be a lot of really scrappy, chaotic fights against Weibo. Wait, who do you guys want to win? Fnatic or Weibo? Confidence of the series. And it's, but it's fights like this that cast a lot of doubts aside for me for Fnatic, which is no having a phenomenal. Wait, there's actually a lot of Weibo's in the chat. What the fuck? Creep back in more and more. What happened there? Get his hands on this champion. Are they going to think he's doing fantastic? People want the Weibo to win. Huh? Side, a lot of this game actually brought uh. more doubts for me for Fnatic. Like looking at guys like Oskirnen, I don't think the Rumble loads were really on point. So I'm expecting Fnatic to have to try and play around Noah, have to try and play around Humanoid if they want to try and succeed here today. And I think for Fnatic it's also important that they maintain the development that we've seen. Because coming in, I was looking at Noah, my boy from <laughs> Challengers, and then he was playing really muted. And I think that that is something he kind of let go of, as you point out. As he got Noah, more in the I'm tournament, sorry. They need to show that against Weibo today. Because if he hesitated I'm against sorry, the LPL Noah. team, They'll punish you hard. Yeah. NA is All on right, your side so this time. <laughs> Wait, we have a, a very stressful. Is NA on my side? The day if you're LPL or EU supporter. So let's head over. Oh, here it goes, Medivedi, Flame Cajal. It is Medivedi, and it's not a stressful time at all, Shocks. No, we all know. Relaxed. Very chill over here. Yeah, very calm. Very excited to see Inc what seats on the aeroplane Fnatic and G2 will choose. Yeah. Perhaps premium economy. Maybe they'll move up. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Comfortable. Living in luxury. Uh, but yeah, we have a banger <laughs> lined up for us today. A Fnatic <laughs> versus Weibo. Uh, expectations are, well, I think they're very mixed depending on who you yeah. ask. I think that uh, many could sit there and argue that Weibo looked like the favorites. Let's not forget that... Uh, it's not been the easiest road this tournament for Fnatic, and yeah. some of the wins that Weibo have had have looked very, very dominant. So uh, I'm interested to see what these teams have prepared coming into this matchup. But it's do or die, Medic. The winner moves on, uh, the loser will be sent home. Yeah, the loser the shy fighting. Nice. I will give you some numbers quickly. Uh, Vedi, at Worlds this year, Weibo 50% win rate versus EU teams. Lost to G2, beat <laughs> oh, okay. Alliance. Fnatic. 0% win rate versus <laughs> LPL teams. <laughs> okay. So I think we know okay. how this one's going to go. Who has side selection? Fnatic has so side selection? No, they're going to ban Rumble. The Nico and Rumble no. taken from the side of Fnatic does make a lot of sense when playing up against Jarvan Ben. The shy. Mm -hmm. uh, Razork's Jarvan actually. There he is, the shy. Look at him. We heard from here an interview with Lord that he did. Way, way. He talked about Razork. Uh, Jarvan Kalista is not band. something that he's had a lot of success with throughout his career. He finally yeah. found some of it at Worlds and now he's earning those respect bands. Uh, the uh, Zaya, of course, can be taken away from Weibo. Wow, wow. Oriana is something I think you do have don't to Don't be a traitor again. What do you mean I'm Fnatic. don't be a traitor? Look at me. And his Who would I be a traitor to? Look at my shirt. One has a very long history on, so wouldn't be surprised to see Fnatic prioritize those. I think for both sides, the Zaya has to be one of those picks you're looking it's for true. early in the draft. Shall put it Maokai? In the it's, it's Oriana, right? Well it's Oriana, but course, that's a trap, Fnatic. Don't do it. Weibo will play as here. Looks like it's... Going to be the first I'm sorry, Fnatic. God, I feel so terrible. I'm sorry, Fnatic. You can't give no Weibo a zir. You can't do that. You're giving them a zir. And, oh, and Vi. Kaisa plus a jungler, something safe. Even the Rel can come up. Renata, Renata snuck away through the Pop. draft and has what the hell? waves so far here. 
It's also Weibo. What is Wei? What, what is Weibo doing? That, uh, what have they been practicing? Got to watch the early stages what have they been the practicing? Uh, he had a monster Renata Poppy? on it in huh? his debut game against NRG. It's something that he's extremely but one, two? on. One of his go-to picks, and Aphelios, a lot of Aphelios North, Aphelios Blitz. Now, if you really want to go back through history, there was a meta oh, wait, of Please Poppy pick a zero Trundle, on three, though, right? Razork was the Trundle guy. I don't want Ash on three. Use as an answer to Poppy, so something to bear in mind as we see the Aphelios locked in for Noah. Aphelios, a lot fine, of picks sure. Coming through so far this tournament, Chris, Leona, and Renata is what he's been playing. So not too surprising to see him on that. It ultimately feels like both these teams are coming in and getting things that they know they're good at yeah. and they should feel comfortable on coming into game one. Which I think often is the way that you want to approach these elimination matches, especially against a team you haven't played against. Cassante. Weibo and Fnatic never met. Okay, are we picking Fnatic Azir or AD on three? Weibo what are we picking? Weibo Azir or AD? What are we picking? National stage. So just finding comfort, finding things that you, know you can execute well can often work out for it's you. It's a quarter's draw after today's game. Yeah, it is. Cassante. Often we see it is. A on this first rotation. I don't know why we're one doing Renata and we're playing Zeri, but sure, this is completely different to Jauhu, Yone. It's not happening. Zeri now locked in for light. Imagine things My like eyes. Waterless. Well, actually, I wonder if they will choose to ban the Nautilus. Renata often considered a pretty good matchup into it. Rel is something the they shy can poppy. take away from. I mean, he can flex it. About that yeah, they will ban Nautilus. Poppy they will ban Nautilus. I'm thinking Nautilus, well, Azir, support champions that exist in the current meta. Blitzcrank. But we are actually going to see that Nautilus taken away from Trimby. Will they choose to remove the Alistair Jax, as maybe? well? Is this something that they're concerned about? Or will it be Aatrox? something like the Rel? Maybe even the Thrash is something that they're a little concerned Azir, about. Azir, we see a lot of. Not really considered super Nords. strong in the meta, but... Uh, Aphelios Thrash is something as a bot lane 2 versus 2 Blitz. can give you a lot of power potential uh, and pick potential as well. It does mean that you lack a bit of engage. Often we do see supports being a secondary or even primary engage here in Worlds 2023. Azir removed by Fnatic, trying to force Xiaohu down Yone a in terms of his champion. No pool. Yone Fnatic still looking for a jungle and support. No Yone Bans. Weibo, we assume, are looking for top and mid. Of course, that poppy can be flexed up towards the top good lane poppy? the Shy desires it's it. Fine. Yeah, um, my expectations Ivern. are that won't be the case. I wouldn't be surprised to see something like a Jank I'm surprised they ban Ivern. I don't think they have any damage. Fnatic. They may even want to get rid of the Aatrox if they now, are surely Fnatic ban Aatrox. The shy getting his hand on it. Uh, or they might just continue to limit Xiaohu's champion pool. Maybe they want to remove something like an Ari. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if Xiaohu's super comfortable on his Akali. Things like Tristana we saw a lot, but that wouldn't make a lot of sense with Pedro. I'm a bit worried for what Xiaohu's going to play. What is Fnatic thinking about right now? Syndra so Ban, Syndra, oh my yeah, god. What is Xiaohu playing? Uh, two very big and powerful mid laners. Don't pick Talia, meta, please. Both that Xiaohu is pretty confident on as well. Maybe Akali? Uh, Weibo probably going to look towards their mid laner. I don't here. know about Xiaohu or Akali though. Options still Aatrox is open, Jax is open. Xiaohu Top is fine. Times, so really look at him. Into their current composition. Could also look for... Jace, if they really desired it. In fact, it actually looks like they're going top first. Aatrox is going to be locked in here. And Fnatic need jungle what is Razor going to play? This next rotation. I mean, the shy is He's going to play Sejuani. It's to watch, right? And it's a terrible pick so to play Sejuani into Aatrox. Poppy. He but he doesn't have a choice. Of why they were able to win out on that series. So, uh, exciting to see him go up against Oscar in a, a young does rookie does Trimby have stage. the balls to play Blitzcrank what's he playing into this, this range matchup you either play Oscar pushing into it or you well, play Blitzcrank remember, he did have a relatively Sona. good rookie year after the first three weeks where he really struggled, you either play Pike Bard still very new or Blitz the international stage. or Such a pusher locked in obviously works well nah, he's not playing Bard Sante up towards the top side and gives you some primary engage Bard an option as well for Trimby as kind of Fallen out of all of his engaged supports, and it looks like it's going to be Melio down towards that bottom lane. Melio for the Kay. first time Shauhu, at world. Don't pick Silas. Well, pick. Don't pick Silas. There's not a huge amount of reliable engage from both sides. Maybe that'll change. With don't pick Silas. Xiaohu's final pick, but outside of the Sejuani, it's Please not pick a mage. An easy way what? for Fnatic to start fights, and unless Weibo can find good flanks, no. perhaps no. Silas we need a mage! I feel like we need a mage! We Look at their fucking front to back! Into the Oriana matchup. It struggles no. over as the game progresses. The threat onto the back line, no. the flexibility that it can no. offer is something that can be very lethal. I don't like that. Though. But Fnatic have gone for a very traditional scaling front to back composition. I don't like it. Though. A decent amount of disruption when you have things like the Melio and the Cassante. What as well. does Poppy do Whereas in this draft? Tell me. Tell me what Poppy does. She gets there, level three. She ganks. Nothing Again, happens. She's used to the rest of the game. I think that it has That's a lot what happens. Power if they can find the right fight. 
but their actual engage options aren't the best. They have a lot of disengage, Poppy ultimate, the Renata ultimate, the tools that can be used to zone or create space for your front line to kind of gain access, or rather your back line to do things in the fight. But outside okay, of Poppy, I'm not stressed. I'm ready. True tank. So yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of staring at each I'm other ready. in it this really game. Weibo, be a lot of you need to win four trigger, series to win worlds. The thing is, this is the first one. Razork, it's like it's all, like yeah. it's like He's four fingers, okay? Fnatic, JDG, LNG, GenG, something like that, and then you get so your thumb. It's the world trophy. You grab it. Whenever you expect a slow game, these two teams are the ones all off to win worlds. Come on, find a way to fight. I have to see exactly how they decide to enact their compositions on the stage. Often you look to the supports for early game Four series one. They can roam, like Remember, you can use your tier one or Twitch Prime to avoid ads for the entirety of the World Championship really tournament. You don't have to if you don't want to because you'll never miss anything in the game, but you can sub if you want to avoid Renata anything in between. On the Melio, but the champs, they really want to stay around there. Okay. Carry, keep them safe. Renata the Shy, you look sexy. Bit more flexibility, I think, when it comes to joining oh, yeah. up with a 5v5, okay. but obviously... Crisp is not on a hook champ, which is perfect. Expect a few battles around objectives, but... I wouldn't be surprised at all, Vedi, if we are just in for a bit of a scale on here. Pressure. Push down. Oh, what is going on in that crowd? Pushing is there a Banshee in the crowd? And the players. Uh, because it's, Bro, can uh, someone mute the Banshee? It could be their last series of the year. And it's EU versus LPL. You saw Take the mic away from her. All time. I would say it on the cast. Heavily in favor of the LPL. 45 to 87. And Fnatic, their all-time historical record against LPL teams, 18 to 32. Yeah. Now, depending on how you look at it, initially you can sit there and go, that's not a great win rate. Or you can do the Jad approach, which is, they've won 18 games against LPL teams. 80 they only need to win two today. Hey, every game is 50-50. You either win or, <laughs> you or you lose either, it, right? Either win and or lose. so far, True. the odds have not been in Fnatic's favor. <laughs> so eventually, they've got to even out, right? That's the how statistics works, yeah. right? EU's just going to go 30, 42 and 0 <laughs> against LPL across the next few weeks. So G2 there we go. listening to that will be very happy. Like going for the Dorian's Blade start in the bottom lane, expecting that he'll need a little bit of Omnivamp. That's a little help helping him out. Uh, health helping him out. Noah going for Cull. I prefer this, especially into a lane where you're kind of expecting just to farm. Two jerseys. It's, a, it's the anti-anti curse. And it means if the jersey is a curse. Your first item a little bit quicker. And it's oh, a we're bringing out the big guns, huh? <laughs> We're bringing out the big guns, uh, are we? We're, you want to play that game? Get into Instagram right now. <laughs> oh, you want to play that game, huh, Fnatic? Uh, yeah, we are. Once we oh, that's dirty. Finish, of course, we will share that is you. dirty but, levels uh, of fighting. Start of the game, but huge <laughs> I mean, we don't really have much more to say. We talked about the drafts. That's disgusting. Like that there is a bit of Bro, they just low blowed at the start. Uh, the early game, nothing too exciting. We've never struggled with that in the past, though. Often we find something to say in these sorts of situations. Yeah, we'll find something. But right that's now, disgusting. I'm speculate what uh, Razork, what his issue is. I'm you could have speculate. speculated like, maybe about his jungle path in the early nope. game. Is he going to look towards a specific lane? I think Betty? he spilt water. Yeah. That's my uh, yeah, possible. possible. A classic possible. common pro player fumble. The hands are good, but only in game. You and know the sippy cups. It's so funny. Like we couldn't trust pros with water bottles anymore. So you can see sippy them cups. next to them. Those little sippy cups. They are fantastic, um, but it's all because of pros. You say that as if we don't often have to only bring sippy cups up to the <laughs> desk as well. Like, True. It's a general thing around electronics, maybe. What is the pause, Razor? What's the issue? Spilling out all over the place. Oh, fans have been great so what far. What does that today. say? Really Sub to Cadrill? This was an absolute banger. The crowd was electric and a lot of us Oh my god, and look at LPL him. Fans in the house. LPL fans will travel Holy all over the world fuck. to support their teams, no matter where you go. There is always a lot of LPL support. And of course, the shy on your screen, a Based huge fan favorite. Here for NA, stayed for Formal EU. NA champion. Stayed for EU. Well, you won't be here very long then. <laughs> I mean, NA done very well. Energy obviously making it through yesterday they did. against G2. Yep. We'll see G2 in action later on. No, I'm kidding. G2's winning ELG. the next series. Listen, I'm not, I'm not that much of a yeah, traitor. Currently hoisting the flag for their European brethren. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I love that they talked about it on the desk. It, it's, it's often fanatic that's in the worst situation yeah. when it comes to the World Championship, right? Like, we, we as casters know that it, there's always a drama, the Fnatic drama that happens every year. The it Fnatic is, drama happens every year. It's an easy road for Fnatic at the World Championship. Even before the World Championship, Oscar broke his hand. Yo! Not friend zone, well, big! Yeah, fans are but he kind of greased it there a bit. Point, and coming into this series, I'm sure that they are numb, yeah. you know? They're, they're prepared for whatever may happen. 
But the he made it out. Chad. Are strong. They he made it out throughout all of the roster changes that have happened this year. Uh, it's been a very difficult year for the Fnatic fans indeed, but here we are. We find ourselves uh, waiting for an update on... Uh and we have one. Oh. Uh, Razork actually paused the game. League officials restarted his client. So they're getting the ready checks done right now, and hopefully we will be resuming the game shortly. On the other side, of course, Weibo. Ever up and down. Vedia sometimes look like one of the best teams in the LPL, can challenge anyone, the shy is popping off, everything's going incredibly, and then sometimes looks like a team that gets a 10,000 gold lead and loses to G2. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Medic! It's unchangeable. Um, the, the stats that I keep being told I have to say okay. by a, a particular individual okay, sure. um, is that they... Weibo is one of the few teams that has a winning record against JDG. True! Really? Yeah, that's uh, that just goes to show the disparity of this team. Yeah. <laughs> true! They can have a winning record against JDG throughout that's the true. year. That's true. Yet... Be the fourth seed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah be the fourth seed. If only seed. they can make a final, Vetti. JDG is always there. Yeah, it's... Uh, Weibo that's is true what Vetti just that, said. Uh, They're the only the highest win rate right? team. You, you never really know what you're going to get from them in a game. Uh, but that's also what makes them incredibly exciting to watch. Seeing Cap's uh, dad. return to the international stage, this roster. I mean, talking to hysterics, like this roster was considered a super team, right? You look at the names on it. It's got a lot of talent. Uh, leaked. He leaked his DMs. Who's he DMing? It's a roster that uh, people had high expectations for. They didn't quite meet those expectations. Yeah. And uh, now we'll see if they can deliver. I know that there are a few diehard fans that believe that they can make the run. They can go all the way. Of course, still a lot of question marks about whether or not they'll be able I to... I can't believe Fnatic brought LNG out the pulse hack in, in game one, one minute in. Of course, uh, like, they didn't even try and hide it. They just the made it obvious. Series ...are much more likely to yeah. go up against a JDG or a Gen.G in the quarterfinals. Basically, one of the winners of the 2-2 series today will not face JDG or Gen.G, because there's only two of them, yeah. and then the other two will. So you have a one in three chance of avoiding JDG and Gen.G in your quarterfinals. As we get on into the action, two minutes in, the and, uh, shy. Surprisingly here. So, Fnatic did drop that early ward onto Raptors to gain a bit of information as to what Wei Wei was up to. Uh, they see that he started on Raptors. Imagine that he's passed up towards top. He's going to be doing a full clip. We'll see if you look for an early gank. Crisp getting that early. The shy is coughing. The push that they have yeah, when I met the shy, ward. he was also coughing. On the Raptors, or if it will spot out Razork, it looks like that it will spot him out. So Weibo getting a bit of information. You'll see the. When I met him, he was coughing. Now. Maybe you'll see it in the interview. So both sides have a rough idea of where the junglers are. Question is, can Oscar play around this top gang that Wei Wei I know a lot for? of players are sick right now. I mean, they're all in the exact he's same hotel, using the exact same arena, game. using the same he's cars. Like, oh, big. Nice trade. You made him sick. Too I'm not sick. Already down to about 150 HP. I just, I just said hello when he got sick. Away from the chains. When he was already sick. Okay, no flash mid, big. Uh, I'm kind of surprised the Humanoid flashed. I guess the moment that he saw the Poppy knockback, he was paranoid about Zhao Hu following that okay. up. But, uh, Zhao <coughs> <coughs> I mean, wait, wait, so... <laughs> um, sitting in the fog what? He's hacking. Razzle, he doesn't get spotted. He's mainly here just to cover Humanoid, make sure that you are the he plague can uh, get that push uh. underneath the tower, look for a reset. Maybe Why does the Shy have 10 CS? I mean, what is he doing? He knows Wei Wei path through the top river. He's going to be slower to the Scuttlecrab. So Weiwei hasn't taken as many camps. Razork's already got a couple of camp leaves. Wait, In fact, he even smited away his blue buff. Wait, this game's a horror. Really intelligent pathing there by Razork, knowing that Weiwei was behind on his Oh my god, why do I feel like this game's a horror? Could come across and steal away the blue. Now, he's not going to be able to get the Scuttlecrab unless he's able to fight Weiwei off lane. it, because Weiwei does still have the smite. The bot lane moving up from Weibo. Is Razork going to look for more? Flash, handshake, Chris. Cleanse away by Noah, but now Razork is coming in. From what is going on? Chris going to get caught out by Razork. Chris, but... Trying to dance around the wall, can dash away to safety. Weiwei still has his flash and will use it before the permafrost sun comes down. A hyper aggressive play there from Crisp, committing the flash. What is so Crisp early doing? On. But Noah just responds with a cleanse. He disengages from the situation, and Razok sees his opportunity. Flashes onto the flashless Crisp, and they know that they have the damage. Razok will steal away the Gromp. Weiwei falling a little bit behind, but already Fnatic find themselves with a 1k gold lead. We talked about it, Medic. Fnatic and Weibo, they're not afraid to scrap. And uh, we see it right here. Razork able to, able to he get just this smite steals steal. it. Oh Razzle my god! Well. Both of them had smite up for it, and then I was surprised that. Razzle Why are you telling me to take off the jersey when the whole chat was spamming? Well, Fnatic's gonna win. What is wrong with you? And the bot lane can respond, so Trimby Why is he flash queuing a cleanse of Helios? The Q also connects from Noah, meaning he can land that auto attack for that final kill. And then the rest of Weibo are forced nah, to retreat. Nah. A good start. Even get the Ain't no way, right? Missed that live. 
Azok will trade back the crab. So overall, great start for the Shy, are we fine? Gun management from Noah as well was able to get his Gravitum switched are we good up there? in that fight, meaning the root could come down. Gave them a little bit more priority in terms of the battle. A 700 gold lead for Fnatic in the early game. We have seen them garner these leads a couple of times throughout the I don't know. I feel like Weibo's draft is complete horseshit. Like, I genuinely think it's, it's trash. In this sort of route, in this sort of pattern, it's a, a good sign for all the EU brethren who probably woke up at around 7 a.m. to watch this series <laughs> back mean, in uh, Europe. It was against BLG where Fnatic were also able to get a good early game lead, but in the team fights is where they ended up falling yeah. short, and Bin was able to find some incredible plays on the Jacks. And the Shy's Aatrox is something What did that Danny do in this draft? EU fans will remember, so we'll be keeping oh our eyes God. on him and seeing how he progresses. So far, overall, the lanes have gone pretty even. It's only this is the a kind of draft where, where Zeri literally has to solo carry the whole game. But so far... Things are looking pretty positive. Fnatic will be the first to start the Dragon with the priority that Humanoid maintains in mid. It's going to work down with Razok, who now has a full level over where, where you can see that little pink bar. Why didn't they just the pick Xiao Hu as here? Uh, to indicate the experience. Shai is winning trades, though. He hasn't level. even based yet. The Razok with the camp advantage that he has as a full level over his, count, his jungle opponent. Let's see where the middle wave is, because Humanoid came down to help Razzle after pushing out the lane, but that wave is frozen. Weiway could be in a good position. was banned. Yeah, I know, but they could have picked a zero on three. Yeah, Humanoid, That's what I'm saying. They picked Zeri over it. Up for him here. He has to respect the fact that Weiwei is waiting in the bush, and Weiwei has been incredibly patient a in lot of, staying here. A lot of time wasted, though, for Weiwei. Weiwei, Weiwei really is isn't grieving. Finding anything. Humanoid doesn't have the flash, and Xiaohu, like, he's positioning very aggressively. Humanoid sniffing something out knows that he just has to wait for the wave to come into him. Oscar Rinnan in a similar position. He doesn't have to overstay his welcome. He can just wait for the wave to come and then they can clear that one out. I don't so know. I feel like Poppy does nothing in this draft. Razzle, like, really. Six, they have range support. Looking for a play in bot lane. No flash on Chris. Oh, Chris Should is going to die. Target. Light still has the cleanse flash and, of course, can always surf across the wall. Wait, wait, it's level four. So required. Light's going to body block for the moment, but Crisp, Crisp is dead. His flash almost coming back off cooldown. There's the glacial prison. They look for Crisp. They lock him down. The shield coming out. He might be able to or this. Noah does still have the flash. Will they go for more? Noah takes him with a flash forward. Light able to dance his way away from the oncoming hordes of Fnatic, but it's another kill. Guys. The second seed. Noah had to sacrifice his flash, but that's two kills for the AD carry of Fnatic. A player that at the start of the tournament Seemed to be struggling a little bit with nerves, but he really found his footing against Cloud9, and he's finding it once more today. Nearly 2k is the gold lead now, and most of it sitting on top of Noah. Fnatic it's finding fine. more advantages, and Weiwei, Wei, his We're early fine. proactive style not really working out. He did get that flash out from Humanoid. That's now back up. He's been looking for things on the map, but it really hasn't converted into anything, whereas Razork, now finding two early kills. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Razzle stealing away that blue, stealing away the Gromp, getting those two assists early on just accelerated him in terms of, terms of experience as well. You can see Weiwei just going round, doing a second clear right now. Up towards that red buff. Razzle waits. It's okay. The Oracles will happens, happens. See, Crisp, no flash. Like, they made a mistake level Crisp. three. They get punished. It's okay. Yeah, it was, uh, close one. Don't be game on Endies. Don't be weird. Had to commit the flash to secure it, which is something that Weibo could look to punish moving forward. We're okay. The wave should now be bouncing Our draft is dog shit. Herald's up. We're going to have to give up Herald. Maybe we're going to have to match bot, but Aphelios is the only one who's ahead. So maybe we can take the 4v4. Hey, hey, Aphelios is bot. Hey, 4v4. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have no smite. He has no smite. Who has no smite? Okay, okay, nice, nice. No smite for Weiwei, but he doesn't need it. Great play there from Weibo as they're able to secure this objective and force Fnatic okay. back. Another play goes to Noah. I keep my eyes on Xiaohu. He keeps moving into this bot river fog of war, constantly creating pressure on the map, something that Noah has to constantly respect. But this jungle gap continues to grow. 20 CS lead now. A huge camp advantage for Razzle. Level 7 ticked over. He has the ult. Two seconds on the Glacial Prison here. And Shahu steps forward, he's not uh. back, tries to abscond, ducked away, but the permafrost, the shockwave brings him back. Even through the flash, Fnatic find the kill. Very nice play from Shahu and Razork. And you you are Razork playing Azir today. only, okay? You are Azir only. Like, what are you doing? Razork is playing well, Fnatic is playing well. He is the lifeblood of this team when it comes to early game success. And here in game one, he is looking poised to dominate. I have seen Xiaohu have a few of these fumbles as well. Did it against Mad Lions in the early game. Weibo was still able to come back and win that game, but 
I really think that if we do see a replay, we should look at where the vision was for Weibo because they had the top side of his of his river this lit up, so but dumb. he was still shadowing the bottom side of the lane, making it so much easier for Razzle <laughs> to close the gap. <laughs> Gold now, Q and Oid and ah! sitting at the top. Shut up. Light not that far behind. Of course, a 700 gold discrepancy still separates the AD carries. The Oscar shite. Rinnan just kind of left to his own devices. His responsibility here is to just Survive. soak the pressure yep. from the Shite. And he's doing a pretty good job for the time being. A dive could Drake's be on the prize, but way, way on the bottom side of that. Doing about to it? test this crab. And he wants to fight for the next dragon. Three members of Weibo here will spot out Razork. I think Razork's gonna have to concede this, but after pushing in mid wave, Humanoid I don't understand Danny's drafting. Like, he must have had, like. Bot lane is pushing up as well. He must have like, forgotten what really game we're playing. And Trimby, uh, or Aphelios PayPal, and like, sent him money. So it allows Fnatic now the opportunity to gain that river control around the next dragon in 30 seconds. Oscar winning. Probably gonna lose a plate here as Shai can just avoid him. Shai, not tanking the tower. This doesn't matter too much. It looks cool. Good job, Oscar. You can get him under the tower. You get his world ender out, which is actually maybe the entire intention because it now means He's fine. if the Shai was to join a fight around the dragon, even though he's he fine, he pushes top and bases. Down, like, stop no trying to fuck with him. To impact the I mean, Oscar, stop being weird. Could look for a good fight here. Shai needs to wait for the ultimate to wear off. Wait, hold up. Oh, this may be the window. Ooh, nah, that, that champ is OP. But the dragon now started off. Weiwei's positioning does give him a bit of access into the river. Fnatic playing towards the top side. Don't flash. Be careful because a good keeper's verdict into a hostile oh. takeover can totally change. The oh my god, he got interrupted. Can we finish away, the dragon? Wait, wait. Why is my mid laner playing Silas? It's over, we lost. Our champs are so trash! Razork is just on point today. The second dragon secured for Fnatic, and he came to play throughout history. Fnatic have been able to make miracles happen, and of course, we're still very. What do our champs even do? Perhaps Razork can continue that legacy. A 2k gold lead now for Fnatic. Two dragons in their back pocket. And they're looking to get a few more plates for Noah. Oh no, right, he's choosing to reset. Oh no, the pings. Oh, oh, they're going to oh, greed oh. for it. Oh, a bit of indecisiveness there, but they are going to choose to reset. Silas Poppy versus Oriana Aphelios Milio. Calm, calculated. Huh? Punishing small mistakes from Weibo. And while they did, of course, lose the Herald, they're going to drop that mid now. This will funnel a bit of gold back into Weibo. Keep my eyes on Crisp as well, moving into Fnatic's jungle, trying to get a bit of vision. That gold will largely go over to Wei Wei Zhao, who not really being able to pick any of that up. Didn't get in range to take away the plate gold there, so... This game is like... The gold this is game good, is, is just... Wei Wei, who is Light has to single-handedly carry the whole game. Through this game. It's a, a little bit of a struggle, a 2,000, well, 1,600 gold lead for Fnatic in this early game. Uh, getting up towards those first items as well already. Kraken Slayer completed on Noah. Light and the Shy have to carry. From the play in the this Silas is piss way, useless. Way, Look at them, well, fucking dumb and dumber. Even need to burn the Trash champs. To escape the mid gank from Weibo. Shockwave Xiaohu as well. This is more for poke than anything else. Making sure that Xiaohu can't enact another play. Noah now in the bottom lane will know that Weiwei and Crisp are on their way. You can see Weiwei is looking for things. This is what he does. He is a proactive early game jungler, but Fnatic are stifling the, the proactivity of Weibo in this early game. I mean, all I can say is I'm seeing Fnatic ooze confidence, you know, and not in a disrespectful way. It's just that we talk about the potential of this team and we've seen it domestically, yeah. but internationally, it's okay, the game hasn't been blown open yet, and the soul is trash, and so obviously there were question there's marks, hope. In their debut, I feel like we didn't get to see full strength for now. Wait, wait, you can come top if you this want, is like, top is a montage. When they're all on point, and they're finding plays in the early game, they can really leverage that momentum to their advantage, and Humanoid demonstrating it there. Completely calm, doesn't panic flash, uses the... The Shy is the getting top lane tower 1v1 isolation. Away out of a dangerous situation. Like, he's doing good. I never, he's sides. the best player right now. I don't know how. But these are the kills for Fnatic, uh, converting into that early gold lead. It feels like Weibo will be looking towards. Holy so fuck! Only a chem soul, so be it's shy. She will decide not to fight the third Drake because chem soul not as impactful as if this was an I infernal or a hex. I think they will though. When Noah yep. is this strong, like look at that gold advantage, right? That is. I Weibo will fight. Oh yeah. right, sorry. Yeah. They, may, they may choose not to because it's a chem soul. 100. Yeah. Um, percent Oh, now you come top. Oh, how desperate you are to come top. Is in a strong position. Like, what is Weiwei doing, man? Get that man a vi. You can see Weibo now 
shadowing him, making sure that you're just gonna push start him. Herald. The Rift Herald up as well. We're just gonna them. start it apparently. I okay. Fanatic fight this. Well, so, Humanoid has TP. Noah's resetting, but I think it's gonna be way too late to the play. Nah, we get it actually. That one up. Nice. Sir. And you've given it up for the bot tower, right? Because that that is what Noah was pushing in. You've already taken the turret, plates are down. We get Herald. So Big. Gold Man, I, I can't take this seriously. Charge. Looking at Crisp and Weiwei playing Renata Poppy against these champs. Like I can't focus. I can't believe they're actually playing those champs. Like they actually they clicked on the champion and clicked lock in. Can you believe that? They had a option out. And they pressed up. yes. Now fanatic move. What? Noah and Trimby into the mid lane. Light will answer. And uh, Weibo will be looking. And it was on one two. And whether or not that Chem Drake third dragon of the game will be there. Fighting point Ooh, to shower who flashes. You just no shit yourself, really didn't you? Like he just literally pissed his pants. What? what is going on? Complete respect being shown from Xiao Hu there. Someone he check his underwear. What happened? Shot, right? they, they, they just saw. They just saw. The shy. I will carry the team myself. How do you get away from the shy's Aatrox? He's done this so many times. Holy before. fuck! He's the crazy. European teams and humanoids. He's crazy. Look at him. Don't give the kill to the. Oh my god! You gave it to that fraud who. Now he's gonna lose his tower for that, okay? No, he's not even gonna use his tower. Just be useful now, okay? The shy carries. Daddy's home. They even get humanoids flash, setting up for a play later on, unlocking this bot lane tower as well. I think in an ideal world they would have loved to use this mid. Relatively short range comp can be difficult to break open this tower, and Fnatic are gonna look for it. They see a window. Still two seconds on the Are we losing this tower? Xiaohu has TP as well as Noah steps in. Man, that Aphelios is off the fucking what? It's lost. Now, Humanoid is back alive and Fnatic with the pressure. Guys, are we fighting this Drake? I don't know, the Shy has no ult. I can't quite see if it's off cooldown just yet. And the TP now coming in from Xiaohu, so we will have a brawl around this third dragon. Shy caught out a little bit, Oscar in. Looking for the knock up flash, knock up onto Lai, who cleanses the handshake, pulls Oscar in. Hey, kill that fraud! Nice! Nice, sir. You don't do that to the boys. To the winds as Weibo pick up another Oscar winning now. Fallen Wolf fanatic fight 4v5. It's a possibility. He's no TP. So dangerous. The shy six seconds before the world enders back up. The shockwave pulls him back as Razor and fanatic dive in. There's another. Both top laners down and it's a 4v4 fall about to erupt in the river. The hostile takeover finds two humanoid and Noah able to dodge to the side of it. And I believe the breath of light was used by Trimby as well to cleanse away. The ultimate familio gives Razzle the ability to get towards this dragon in time. Permafrost on the Drake. It's down no, Reynolds. Wait, wait, don't fuck it up. Xiaohu has the glacial prison stolen. Sejuani. Don't fuck it up, the smiter. No! Look, 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 look. Lightning crash from light. No plans. Help! 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 Someone help! But the shy has the defender's advantage, and Razork and Fnatic will back away. But they got everything they wanted out of that. Razork refuses to get outsmited today. That's three for three on the dragons. They put themselves to sole points, and the crowd is coming alive. Fnatic, they end up trading in every single situation. It's Weibo that finds that initial pick onto Oscar Rinnin. But Oscar Rinnin did a lot of work. He gets every single summoner spell out. And how, we're going to get a look How are we getting caught? The Shy. Yes, Oscar is how are you getting caught? Point, so we're going all the way back to the start fight. of the fight. What are you so doing? Forces the flash out from the Shy. Flashes in to get the summoners out. Cleanse flash from light. Crisp with great utility. And as you highlighted, Medic, a really good ultimate from Weiwei. Protects the backline. Yeet. All Knocks them all away. That's going to be you on a plane and isolated. soon. But then Fnatic find a great trade back. Getting it's okay, we can win this shy, game. Turning it into a four versus four. And while Trimby does lose his life initially, Weibo end up split up. Three members run south and then Razork. This man is on fire in game one. Focus up. And importantly, as we don't lose those. Focus up. Oscar Rinin made that happen. No cleanse, no flash on light. So when he dashed away, when he was separated, Fnatic could strike. The entire team working together here and now Noah Infinity. We need two items, Zeri. And we need Xiaohu's keyboard to be turned on. And we need Wei Wei to realize that Camps give experience. And then we're fine. It's what kind of dictated him. It's what made him a name on the European stage when he joined. The fact that he could bring out this Aphelios, but 
The question is, can Fnatic fix their mid-game woes? Because it has been at this point when they've been in leads. Here but Orianna is going to scale to infinity and beyond. Like, how is so it winning? good at pulling teams into the chaos, <laughs> at finding flanks, at finding skirmishes. How exactly can you win? I mean, the goal difference isn't so dramatic that Weibo can't turn this around. The Chemtech Soul, while still Assault, there's no oh. reason why Weibo shouldn't be oh. able to turn this around. Weiwei now setting up for a pick. He oh. has found Humanoid. No flash on Humanoid as well. Razzle coming to support. Razzle spots the Shy. He's going to get knocked up here. Trimby and Noah on their way to defend as well. Weiwei still hidden in the bush. Sneaky. Glacial Prison going down onto the Shy. There's the Hostile Takeover. All of Fnatic able to dodge away from it. The Shockwave takes down the Shy. The Bay and I won't bring it back in time. The Keeper's Verdict dodged by Trimby and Noah. And now Weiwei is stuck in the midst of Razzle and Humanoid. Stunned up with the Permafrost. Oscar Rillin looking to tank the tower, but they back away. Patience from Fnatic, they found the kill they were looking for, and perhaps they can look for more. Fnatic turn a potential pick onto them into one that goes in their favor, and now they start the Baron. Could this be a moment for Wade? Yeah! Now, have they Fnatic's learned from G2 <laughs> is the question, Betty. Fnatic step away, they don't take the What is going they on? Walk away with the pick, happy. The Shy is fallible. Medic against Mad Lions, he felt like an unstoppable wall. One that would not falter when he was on It's the not his fault, his but team's just time, piss useless, they find man. They pick onto him. Razork in a bit of danger, three members collapsing. But with the support of Humanoid and Weiwei, not in a great position to support. They find that pick and they disengage. And look at this sidestep, Noah and Trimby moving away from Weiwei. And at this point, Weibo are just forced to disengage. Maybe it burns his flash, let's have the hex flash for an ensuing fight. A minute now on the Drake, and you can see Fnatic setting up their deep vision, getting in here, making sure that this blue side jungle of Weibo is no longer a safe area of fog of war. It's not the jersey! There is always the risk that Weibo see this and say, the Baron's on the cards, we could just run towards it. You have Light at one and a half items, and Xiaohu on Silas isn't going to be the quickest Baron in the world, but sometimes you can sneak these things under your enemy's noses. 50 seconds on the chem so take top tier one in control of this bottom side. they didn't win yet they didn't win yet they didn't get baron as well wouldn't be surprised to just have humanoid catch that top wave get level 14 and then have the tp ready to move into the bot looking at the win probability powered by aws obviously heavily in favor of Fnatic right now largely because of all these objectives that they've secured for themselves two items fully completed for both mid laners hold up that sterile hold up yet to be finished for the show everyone shut up Really instrumental in giving Everyone shut survivability up. in these fights. That third item getting closer and closer for Noah. Take Sejuani ult. sitting, look at, by far what away with are the you doing, goal lead, bro. Xiao Hu. Get spotted here, pulls the all out, but the all out comes back. And what is my man doing? He's giving it all in the fight. Xiao Hu, that's going to retreat as Noah begins to step forward. Riot, please! Oh. Bashes for the shutdown! Xiao Hu is dog shit! As well as the TP comes in from the Shy to try and rectify some sort of situation out of this. The Shy, though. Almost locked up underneath the tower, but that Infinity Edge last whisper Kraken on the Aphelios is looking a little bit like 200 years, Betty. Your no champs saying, are trash. No Your draft you, was Xiao, terrible. Your fountain. coach is They're fired. For the dragon. I think Noah's just doing it solo while the rest of Fnatic stare down. Whose idea was this draft? Whose idea was it? Isn't getting out of control, oh, feels what like if we go Poppy Renata 1-2 for Orianna? Yes! What if we go fucking home? What are you doing? Setting their eyes on the Baron. Have to think though, and maybe it's the pessimist in me. Maybe, maybe it's not. the person in me that's seen you fall so many times. Maybe the LPL. Not. And Elder's up in five. That is a window. That is a possible moment for Weibo to find him, especially if Weiwei can find a good knockback onto some of the tanks with the Keeper's Verdict. Xiaohu burned his flash as well. The only player on Weibo yet to get kills in this series. Xiaohu, I think at this point he's like, okay, I'm gonna flash away. I don't think you expect Noah. He wants that money. You saw the shutdown as well. But Noah, three fully completed items. He is a monster. Level 13, same level as Yahoo. And the Baron is being baited. Why does it? I, Light's he items used. look That's like he's been DC'd for five no minutes. The Outside of that control, control ward, ward yep. yep. Just got put in by Weiwei. That's what we you see great teams do, is just constantly have a way to refresh that vision. But if you, you look need at it. the inventories, the vision is now very limited. Still a control wall of it, ward rather, available for Trimby. And four. Control wards littered around this barren area for Fnatic. Excellent patience being demonstrated by them. And this is great as well. You step deeper, you get your vision just that slight bit further Come into on, the enemy jungle. Come you on. start to deny things, and if you can hold this for a while, 
becomes very tricky. Trimby here, stepping forward, misses the knockup onto the shy and is immediately knocked up himself. Half made it coming up, Moscow in the shy court with the He's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Don't stress. No shot wave, no shot wave. Back into the meat grinder, hostile takeover only hits onto Razork. Fnatic have been dodging that incredibly well in this series. But none of you do anything. Your champs are just garbage. Look at their champs. Now only with a cleanse to try and get away. The all out on the shy. Hook back with the part made of Infernal Chains. The knock back with the Intofos. The shy down and nothing can bail Weibo out of this team fight once again. Oscar in in. Can't quite land the Q. Dream is able to dodge away from light just in time before his life is forfeit. All five mm. members are alive. The jungle Bro, their champs are so bad. And I think like who has any threat? 25 minutes in Fnatic. And Kemsol, they have a what's gonna be a 5,000 gold lead. They have a how 1v9 is he? That guy, the shy. What is Shao Fraud doing? Well. It's hope beyond hope here for EU, but what a game it has been for Fnatic. The shy gets focused down initially, but he's able to look at their game. champs. Look at them. Who's, who's threatening who? They're all they're, the they're losing to minions. It's hard to know who to focus. This front line of Oscar in it's just soaking up so much damage. They think that they've caught humanoid, but then Razzle turns his attention to light. Oscar in zones three on the bot side, while Fnatic can just chase down whoever they want. And it's just a one sided affair. Noah is untouched, and he is lethal. Fnatic. Three kills. Crazy. Two rather. Crazy. Oh, that's no, crazy this game. And Fnatic looking to secure game one in what has been one of their most convincing games here at Worlds. The shockwave once again from Muno. Of course, the shy back. He Leave him alone. The world ender, but those wings only carrying you down a coward's path back towards your base. Fnatic now pushing in two lanes. You can see Oscar in a shifting from bot into mid. The rest of Fnatic now moving up towards the top side. Humanoid can shadow this red side jungle to make sure he can react to either side as necessary. Noah has the Calibrum and the Crescendo. No, I, I knew this game was lost from draft. I don't mind. Butter they melt before him. It's good. Oscar they get three games of practice instead of two. The Shy's going to try and answer that. No ult on him, remember, but he does still have the flash. Oscar under the tower, keeping the Shy interested. Top lane inhibitor now falling lower as Weibo. Look for their opportunity, look for their moment to strike. Is it a flash shockwave from Xiaohu? Is it a keeper's verdict from Weiwei? The Glacial Prison comes out, but it's short of locking anyone up. And now Xiaohu... Xiaohu, you're so bad. From Razork. The inhibitor tower falls. Oscar in it all outs the shy, and he's going to pull him back. Oscar not shy of this fight right now as Fnatic collapse from the top side. And the shy found wanting yet again by Fnatic. A TP behind though as Xiaohu is looking for something. Can he find the fight? Great flash and Tofu light dashing away with the cleanse. The hostile takeover hits one, but Noah immediately cleanses away from it. Captain Jack from Noah. Inferno bailout. Light is down. And all light extinguished from the eyes of Weibo. Fnatic are knocking on the Nexus. Chahu's trying to catch the wave to stop the end, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Fnatic have their eyes on the Nexus. In the most convincing form I have seen Fnatic all year, they are one game away from quarterfinals. What a performance from Fnatic. The Fnatic chance here in Seoul. Razzle with an early game masterclass and Noah rounding it out. Incredible stuff from this Fnatic. And for Weibo, backs against the wall now. One game between you and being knocked out of worlds. One game between you and your fans ripping off their shirts, crying in whatever room they're sitting in. One game between the Shy and being eliminated from Worlds 2023. We're going to hand it over to the analyst de uh, desk to break down what was a banger game one. I hope you're in a better mood now if you're watching from Europe because yeah, out, of, um, out of the bingo card in terms it's of fun. watching a clean performance for Fnatic versus Weibo, I don't think anyone thought it would be clean regardless, but I definitely didn't think that it would be this 
clean it's fine from fanatic. listen have we learned nothing final day fanatic backs against the wall 27 <laughs> the draft listen, was terrible for weibo the kt strat here and i am not getting 20. excited but you guys can <laughs> all right draft was terrible i I, I, yeah. I i wouldn't say excited but i do think that fanatic all the credit to them they have a very good read in the draft they have a very clear game plan that they then execute and they give zero opportunity to weibo to come back let's talk about this draft though because i mean a bit of a draft gappy yeah, Terrible I mean, this draft. Was such a good draft from Fnatic. And I mean, we were chatting about it backstage. As don't as don't get cocky. Like, second, Bro, I'm going to fucking rail every single one of you the second it's a 2 1 to Weibo. You're all going to regret to. even Let's writing in the chat. Shut up. That can set shut up. Things like the shut up. Shut Things up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Stop getting cocky. Yeah, I love how they pick such a strong team fighting comp that could still engage. Why are you right? saying play they Euphoria? They to, What's that going to do? And Sejuani could still go in, but it's not like they needed to dive to succeed. So they were able to play the game out with so much patience. And then partially because of the first blood and the way Razork played, they won two out of three lanes. So oh, they also had control oh, of every Drake. And oh, I think the way we're we're blue side and we won. And we them, out drafted this, them. Oh, how do you win with your this team's comp? bad. There is no up, go button. There's no hard engage. And I think particularly what we've seen when the LPL looks at it best, BLG to me is always the best example of this. Shut up. The snap engages are so good. And this comp, the moment you're not first... I'm not checking any tweets. Nothing. I ain't got no time and for I no tweets. kind of see how... Well aware Fnatic were of potential. I got no time for no tweets. My biggest worry for them I'm was to listen like, to this cat. The yield, they immediately start to chase, and suddenly Renata ult comes across we everyone, and win. the fight turns around. That's not win. what we got, though. And I think you could see we that a lot win. in Noah specifically. We can I think win. Noah was always aware. We can hey, win. I'm going to gale force backwards. I'm we actually going to buy space for myself. We and can he win. was the one that my eyes are focused on. We he can picks win. up the early kill in this game. We can win. here, and from that, starts Cole, gets the kill. He's off to a phenomenal start. Thanks to Razor here. And and then and, and Raz, I guess I was so impressed by this man. Sejuani often uh, kind of feels like it stands or falls win. by how are your ultimates mid to late game. And he didn't actually have that great win. of a setup, right? He had one melee character in the top side, Don't give up. but his early impact Don't got give up. putting Weiwei behind Don't and never up. letting Weibo Don't dictate the pace. Wait. Well, also in his fights, incredible. Yeah, don't one that up. we don't even have is the early blue bus deal, up. which yeah. set up a level advantage for the don't original river fight. This was an uh, amazing performance don't in the, like, almost no-look Sejalts, where yeah. it looks like don't he's walking up. one way and he shoots it off to the left don't to tag the AD carry. Beautiful stuff. Don't give up. Beautiful stuff all around. Uh, I, I do think what don't you said there, Dogda, in terms of, I think this is so important, right? How are we? Yeah! match or a qualification match. Both actually today. Uh, Look at the size gap. Cool, especially into a phenomenal team fighting region in general, and a team like Weibo who has proven to be very scrappy. Yeah, and I want to see how Weibo is able to adapt to this because this is two games in a row where Fnatic team fighting has looked great and Noah's looked great on Aphelios. Yeah, and even when before he came to Fnatic, he was great on Aphelios, and they also lose the blue side where they were able to con control the pick. So and especially if they have the same read on kind of, oh, we couldn't do anything with that draft, I think you're getting a completely different game. I but think so. You mentioned Noah, and every second counts, and thanks to the reliable Cisco network, Noah takes the game into his hands, flashes over the wall to kill Zhao Hu and secure the Chemtech Soul, which we're going to look at at one second. But yeah, he's been stellar, and I think then it's a case of you know, if you're a fanatic on the red side, how can you take advantage of if they do decide to expend some bans there? It's going to be super interesting. In no means a done deal, but... Agree the fanatic played Noah's clean. Story in the LEC the whole year, when he started in the sure. beginning popping off. Sure, on they the played clean. He was known of, then he tempered off. Sure, tried to they won a game. Yeah. Okay. This is going to help. Great. Yeah, and That's I cool. That to That's cool. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. You had the game of your life. Life. That's great. Good timing. Right now, do it again. Do it again. One game away do it again. Uh, from no, do it again. Uh, the quarterfinals when you look at play the best game you've played um, in 4,692 days. Do it again. It's going to be Weibo on blue. So I want yeah. you to do a little exercise about you know what you think Weibo should change. Well, that's the big question mark for me. Is actually for Crisp. It is. So big. when I look at Renata, right, I feel like this is nearly like a band aid for Crisp. I think he's looked absolutely the shy? fantastic on the pick. But the problem is he hasn't looked so fantastic over the course of the year on 
Nautilus's. He's been going back towards the Leona as his other pick. It Where's the like Crisp has actually had a bit of a struggle, and this Renata seems to be the hey, we can fix this play far back. Oh, you he's back there. Worry about trying to set things I up. can see his head. And now that it's not, he don't care about draft. He just says pick me, Atrox. Blue, but it still feels to me like Crisp actually might be struggling just with trying to get his champion pool in check. Yeah, one thing that happened last game with Weibo on red side is they threw a lot of jungle bans, but the Sejuani was still extremely effective. Yeah, and I think Humanoid is the. They look broken. What? Team, even though Noah's the one who's been carrying on the Aphelio. So the guy you see on your screen right now, Shahu, needs to succeed for this team to succeed. And I think making sure Oriana doesn't get in the hands of Humanoid, their blue side, they have more flexibility. I actually like to see like double or triple bans towards Humanoid. Weibo Wei looks fucking Shahu, broken. A more comfortable matchup is what I want to see from Weibo. Yeah, it could be a, a good Guys, angle indeed for Fnatic. It doesn't now, hurt to smile. The point is not to get too much in your own head because you had a sovereign game one performance Crisp. where you've been given a couple Nort of We're not picking Nautilus. Don't get well, so scared. They should be confident in their own Light. ability that they can We picked for you that draft. You didn't carry. Difficult. Now that they find themselves on the red side, also, may I say, um, Oscar had a good game, and that's good for that guy versus the shy. Yeah, absolutely. I think the, the the biggest issue for him was just that when he made a great play, half the time his team wasn't ready, right? They were like, no, it, there's no way he misses that key or he hits the Q3, rather. And uh, being able to stay in isolation against an Aatrox and, and just don't die, don't give up too many plates. That's all you really need to do. The, the one thing for me, though, is when it comes to the draft specifically, Noah, because I think Noah, as mentioned, mm. was the biggest difference in how he looks. Uh, and particularly in front of his home crowd, I think that he's getting more and more Guys, bolden. Guys, <coughs> reset, confidence, dick out, fight. Uh, and I don't think he's getting a Falios again. Yeah, I I'll also say one final little bit of EU hopium. Last three years, the LPL has sent four teams to roll a championship. Never have all four of those teams made it to the top eight. So if it doesn't happen now, surely it'll happen in the G2 series. It's just one of these LPL teams always seems to fall short at the World Championship, right? Yes, is it? A, a, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just really happy that Fnatic was <laughs> right? able to have such a convincing game. Right? Oh, surely it's going to happen again. Uh, we're going to hold indeed because we're going to go to a quick break. But when we come back, Weibo is with their backs against the wall. Maybe for the last time this World Championship, they have to make the reverse sweep happen versus Fnatic if they want to stay in it. And Fnatic, they are looking poised. Okay, we fight. Go Renata. Renata, no flash. Renata, no flash. Go Renata. Yeah, I'm coming for that. Renata is dead. I yeah, think that. Yeah, who steps forward. He's knocked back. Tries to have Scott the ducked away, but the permafrost, the shockwave brings him back. Even through the flash. Look at Siri. Guys, no, no, no. 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 Down. All right, calm down, calm down, calm down, yo, calm down, calm down, yo. Relax, everyone, just everyone, 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 just reel it in, reel it in, okay? Everyone, reel it, reel it in. This ain't the World Finals. It's ain't the series over. It's just a game. It's a game. Relax, relax. We've been here before. Weibo's been here before. It's fine. It's fine. We went to five games against Top Esports to get here. We're chilling. We're chilling. Everyone, take a step back. Red Bull gives you wings. Okay, are we good? Is everyone good? Are we reset? Going from work. Yeah, I think I have a much better plan. We switched to my plan from Verizon. That is a good plan, Glenn. I'm not taking off the jersey. This is staying on. I go down with the ship. Okay, the ship sailed in in January of last year. The ship is sinking. I'm staying on it. <sighs> Wait, but please. Please. Your blue side. Stop drafting all these mini champs. No more Silas for Shahu. No more Akali, no more Yoning. I am not allowing it. You're not... Stop trying to think that you're Chovy on steroids, okay? Your job is easy. You pick a mage, you hit them. That's how you win games. Stop trying to fake it. What are we gonna do? We're gonna lock in a Zero Rihanna, yeah. We're gonna lock in some fucking champ for light where he doesn't grief the whole game, yeah. Shy can play whatever you need. 
Yeah. Wei Wei, what are we gonna do? What role are we playing? Jungle, yeah, okay. So what are we gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna jungle. We're not gonna play river, okay? We're not gonna stand in the river for five minutes, watching bot lane, okay? And light, no hook champs. The whole world, the whole world wants to see you lose. They do, it's true. They've wanted to see you lose for years. They just want to see you lose. They get they get high off it. It's like they're fucking drug watching you lose. They're all weird. All of them. I know. I get it. I get it. They're all weird. I get it. All of them are weird. Every single one of them. Oh, the shy lost again. He's a fraud. For some reason, writing the fraud in chat makes them happy. Let's make them sad. Let's make them sad. Huh? 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 Kitty? Huh? What do you think, cat? Make them sad. Huh? Make them mad! Cat? Huh? Yeah! Yeah! The cat agrees! Okay. Cue it up. You need Kellen? Fuck Kellen. Fuck Kellen. Fuck Kellen. Fuck the cat. Fuck everyone. Fuck all of you. We don't need anything. We don't need nothing. And when Weibo wins, don't come crawling back. If you're a flip flopper. If you're flip-flopping, don't come crawling back if Weibo wins. You're banned. You're banned. Come on, please, please, man. I'm, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Welcome back to Worlds 2023, where we are in the final elimination day of the Swiss stage. Fnatic smile, convincing victory in game Anyone. one. Weibo looking to bounce back in game two. Smile. The blue side, they have a 100% win rate on it across the course of Worlds. So do Fnatic. So I guess we should have just expected. You okay, mate? I can't tell if I'm on camera. You're on camera right now. <laughs> Hello. We're gonna I jump into saw, the draft the in a draft. second. <laughs> okay, Azir ban, good. A Philios ban. What do you think of a Philios ban? Huh? Weibo? Huh? 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 I think a Philios ban is not bad. Let's not be dumb as fuck. Cool, man. I was really confused. Anyway, Weibo on the blue side now. Jarvan Azir, their bans. Nico banned away by Fnatic. They can only play a Philios. They can. Ban it. Azir wasn't banned by Weibo in game one. They instead went for Jarvan Zion. Dynaphilios. Azir is going to replace one of those, probably the Zaya. Let's be honest. Nico Rumble, both banned by Fnatic in game one, though, so they are sticking Come on. to their tried and true. So my speculation is the Weibo will just put a higher priority on their mid lane pick in uh, in this game. I feel like the Jauhu, they just had no mid jungle options. You know, like the Silas Poppy, in theory, like sure it can be a decent mid jungle two versus two, but after they burned that initial flash, it was so difficult for them to really get much else out of it. I think that they want Jahu to have more agency and options in the game. Ooh. So I imagine that Fnatic will look to ban away the, the Orianna. What the fuck are we smoking? It depends if Maokai, Kalista, these are all things that they're worried about. Now they're not going to ban Orianna. From Weibo on the Zaya. Because Syndra's up. We have seen a couple well, of times. It's like, in are you just bronze? Just pick the Orianna. That makes sense. I think that yeah, they don't so what, make they get that Syndra trade. Theos, but again, what I think Fnatic's playing? happy not to make that trade. Because I wouldn't be surprised to see them actually Kaisa? prioritize the Aphelios for no Is he playing Kai'Sa? Instead, they ban away the Orianna. Oh, pick, so pick a Philos now. Pick a Philos. Pick a Philos. Pick a Philos. Will Weibo go for it? Uh, with Maokai up and available. Remember, the No is no stranger to Kalista himself. We know him better for these hyperscaling, long range AD carries. I like Maokai. But let's see. The hover is there. Fnatic did have a fantastic <gasps> early game in the first matchup. <gasps> Quite no stranger, we mean he's played open. twice this year and won both those games. Yeah, see, obviously I forgot. has more experience on it than that. I'll uh, we'll see if Fnatic go for it. It does mean Fnatic would be looking for a more aggressive. Does this mean we're getting Xiao Hu Jace? In. Wow. I mean, we'll right. be locked in, so much more early so game focus. Do they prioritize the Rel now, or do they just want to take the Sejuani matchup once again? Of course, they could do something like the Ivern, but maybe they just want to save the jungle pick for later. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Rel just because it gives them flexibility and uh, support. 
maybe they just want to grab something like the Nautilus now, but there's so many potential answers to it. I think Instead, they're going to play it safe. All right, so they know that they're not playing towards the top side of the map. They want to guarantee Oscar something that he's safe and comfortable on. And then Jace, just pick again, Jace, please. This time around, it makes a little bit more sense. We had question marks last game about when you have Renata Why are we Bobby, picking Renata like this? The Aphelios answer from what is their fucking okay. boner for Aphelios, Renata? Renata? Bro, what happens if they play like Kalista North, Kalista Blitz, Kalista... I feel they need to lock in their support here. That does mean that now we lost Chase as well. I honestly don't think that's the end of the world. Yep. When you think about I don't know if Ivern, I like it. What if they go Jarvan now? They go Jarvan? Sejuani. What do they have? They have options. Kalista North, Kalista. Later in the draft. Yeah, Syndra as well. I told you I'll go Syndra. Wait, this is actually Humanoid fine. Let them pick Syndra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jarvan's then. Oh, okay. Yeah, give Syndra, give Syndra. Give Syndra. Had more of an impact but, but what is, what is Shaohu playing? Syndra now locked in. I'd like Fnatic to ban the Poppy just because it's very good. Shaohu champion pool doesn't get very good here. So, I'm just throwing it out there. Soraka Callista was something that, that old school special. rogue yeah. they brought it out in the finals. They back might play Soraka Callista. Last year, 2022, LEC If finals. they ban Chase, what is he uh, playing? And it was Trimby, as you said, alongside Comp. Wouldn't surprise me if Trimby just said, "Hey Noah, how do you feel?" But we'll we'll like wait. Oh my God! Later they didn't ban Jace Ari. Thank the God for that. Still a potential. They're gonna choose to ban that one away. For the okay. Yes, Jace Ari. Where will Weibo go with their bans? They might ban Aatrox. The nice, North of Ben. What about Soraka ban? Soraka ban or Blitz ban? Although he is a very good engaged player and he is very good at Rakan and, and can play But Weibo like has Nordlis. champs now, which More is good. Last game they didn't have champs, now they have champs. His army, especially when he came onto the scene, was very powerful. And as you said, the Soraka, a possibility what for him What about Rakan with the Poppy ban? Yeah. I mean, Kalista Rakan, not like the strongest 2v2 bot lane. Still really nice. Yeah. As Rakan, you get chucked in, you ult immediately, and you're in the middle of three people. It, it, it's really solid, and you can even E away, Akali. so you don't have to wait for your W. Oh, we're chilling in mid. Lockout. It's a, it's not a lane that will dominate the lane through the. Spot. What about and Jace Gwen? Four five. Huh? Potential later on in the game. Akali now taken away. But look at how much mid focus they put there with the yep. Nico, the Oriana, and the Akali, and the prioritization on the Syndra. Fnatic really want to make Xiaohu sweat. They want to make him dig deep into his champion pool, and they want to try and take some of that mid lane control away. A lot of fans of Weibo have said that, that he's the reason why he got here, right? Xiaohu is what brought Yeah, pick Leeson, pick Leeson, pick Leeson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Razork. Yeah, pick Leeson, pick Leeson. Lee no. Honestly, I'd be a little bit surprised. The Rel and the Rakan are both being hovered. I think both are fine choices. What about J Squen? What about J Squen? Don't do Ari Aatrox. I think that's fucking it. I don't know why. I feel like Ari Aatrox is just int. A few more options going I like J Squen. Something about J Squen. Jace Jax. Jace Jax. And Jax not the best. Will the Shy just revert back to his Aatrox? Struggled against the Cassante or at least. Struggled to have any Talia? Okay, I don't mind Talia. Phase, he was fine, about 20 CS up, but didn't have as much power as he would have liked in those later game team fights. Talia in the mid lane, it looks Nar. like Maokai. It's a very low damage mid jungle. What are we doing? Uh, we've seen it before Guys. here at Worlds, so not great success. Talia Jarvan is something we've seen a little bit more effectively. Um, Obviously, a lot of utility on the side of Weibo's composition. They're engaged from the Maokai, gives them a huge amount of zone control, and if the Shy does lock in his Nart. It will give him a really strong laning phase. We saw Zayas Nar. put on a okay. click yesterday with the Nart. And we know how threatening that champion can be in many 1v1 situations. And in the hands of the Shy, you know that Oscar Rinnan's going to be playing on the weak side. The Ivern hover, it was banned in game one. We talked about it as a potential option. Does lower your damage, but it does also make the Callista that much harder to kill and give the team a few more scaling options. Also, the Alistair. Talked yeah, please pick Alistair. For the rail. Instead, oh, oh Lee Sin locked in. Okay, this is a big confidence play from Razzle. All right, chat, you know the drill. You, you know can what? use your tier one or Twitch Prime I to avoid ads for the entirety of Worlds. You don't have to sub you. if you don't want to. You'll never miss anything, but you can sub if you want to avoid ads. Like it doesn't one take prime, one tier one, no ads, all of worlds. Syndra is is quite the powerful two v two into Maokai Talia. It gives you so much control over things like the early crabs, early dragons. I don't know, man. And it's also a lane that you can threaten and then look to move into bot. Yeah. I so don't know if I'm a fan of this. And uh, Fnatic, they've gone all in early game, right? When you look at that Aphelios, when you play into a Talia long range outside of the. Uh, the rail and I, I guess the Callista pull back into re-engage. The engage isn't super solid, whereas the amount of utility that Weibo have, this front-to-back composition, the range that they have at their disposal, the later this game goes, the more I don't know if I like this draft. To be able to fight. So I mean, Italia's good into, into Callista. They have all right CC for Talia, but 
and Talia's also fighting and sleeping, but I don't know, I feel like Syndra's will be going to a decider game three, but they don't want to fall short here. They want to cement themselves in the quarterfinals. Momentum so oh, often. Please, please, the please, factor please, game please. Oh, yeah. If you lose game two, even in a best of five, if you lose game three, often please, guys, things please. can start to turn, the tides please. can start to turn, and Weibo so often have been the team that have turned the tides on their opposition. Please, Making guys. Making their way through top esports and EDG to be here, coming in second in the regional gauntlet. Only behind LNG. Please. So let's see what they Everyone's can do. Everyone spam Prage. Game two. The last time we saw Fnatic in a quarterfinals was against Top Esports back in 2020. I don't know, I can't think about the game. Was, uh, I'm just like scared. Ago, I'm so Fnatic scared they're gonna get knocked out. Clamoring to be one of your please don't get knocked out, please. And Weibo looking to do the same thing. Weibo, please. If you want to represent on the Rift as well, you can log into your Riot account and watch Worlds 2023 on lollysports.com to earn exclusive drops like emotes and icons. Always nice to have you know, your team's icon that you can flash when you uh, make an out. Well, when you make a misplay. If you so desire, every now and again I'll put the BDS up one, uh, BDS one up when I when I make a mistake in I lane. No, it's kind of mean. Why are BDS catching strays? They're already out of the competition, man. Like, we support the winners here, Betty. Every time I die, I throw up my XDD emote. Oh yeah. Oh XDD. Yeah, makes sense. I thought they cancelled that one, didn't they? Betty just right, shouted you out. That's, that's true, true. They did. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, now early vision invested from both sides. You can see that deep ward dropped in bot lane, in the river though from Fnatic. They have. Some wards to see if there are any early shenanigans being set up by Weibo. But it looks like Weiwei will start on the top side. Razok will look to do the same. I can't quite see, given his icon, if a ward was dropped. It doesn't look like it based on the cooldowns of the wards on Weibo that any more than this initial blue ward bot lane. So no information garnered from either side as to where the enemy jungler is starting for now. Razok just doing his top side camps. Wonder if he'll look towards top lane. Always a possibility, that level three. Uh, way, way matching no the pausing, by the way, no pausing. His, his path kind of leads him away from top. Uh, actually, it looks like Razok might skip out on his Krugs and just go down towards the bottom lane with his positioning. I mean, he needs to play towards this lane, right? Yeah, you can see sense. they've already gotten the early push with the range advantage that they have. The level two is going to kick in soon. Noah only has a single CS, but that's kind of expected. Started with the Raptors, went to blue. I was like, there's no way he's going to yeah. go for a level two, right? Surely Skips blue, not. goes Grump, and they can go back towards the blue. But it's a fast clear, yeah. right? And the goal is to get an early level three and look for a play. The ward is dropped, though, and it has been pinged out by Fnatic, so they know that it's there. So if he does want to find a play, he's going to have to get creative with his pathing. Keep your eyes on Razork on that minimap. See what he's up to. And keep your eyes on Light and Crisp in this bottom lane. Nice, we're doing intensely. good in bot. There is a big stacking wave here, obviously. So Light and Crisp, as they push this in, could look for a recall. Get back, get yourself... A door, uh, an extra long sword or some boots, uh, but they might even just, just look poke for them. extra pressure. Calibrum giving them that little bit more range in cover this bot, lane Cover right bot, cover bot, wait, wait, cover bot. Looking for two, but they're not going to be able to do too much unless Razor comes around. Now he can ward hop into the tri bush here. Malka is going to try and match him. Wait, wait, on his way, still on the red now, and Razor's worked no, his no, way all no, the way no, around. No, 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 to flash away immediately. Exhaust still available to him. Goes down. Razzle tempers cripple. There's the slow. The sonic wave goes That's wide. That's fine. It's fine. But Crisp is ripped apart by Noah Spears. It's first blood for Noah once again. Fnatic start off strong on the bot side of the map, and we could see it from Razzle's pathing. His goal was to find action in the early game, and they're able to do it. They set their sights on Crisp very early on. They knew about the cleanse on Light. They didn't care about it. Getting his summoners means that they're looking for a repeat play on that bot side of the map, and Fnatic will find first blood onto Noah. And Razzle once again with the creative pathing, showing the top tier that he often showed in Europe, sometimes though did really struggle, and today seems like he is just on form. Good engage by Trimby to kick it off with the flash, making sure he couldn't be handshaked away. And the exhaust comes out as well. Razork, he just flash commits. He does miss the kill. Why? But at the end of the day, they get the damage done. The execution from Noah and the Fnatic flare is flown. So good stuff from Fnatic here in the early game. A very small gold advantage. But crucially, Summoner's burn. And that's what matters as these players are going to be looking to make repeat appearances on the bot side of the map. And again, like you look at top lane and credit to Oscar. Dead even on CS, even with the pressure that's being put on him underneath the tower. Small CS advantage for Humanoid in the 1v1. 
And this is great news for Fnatic. As long as those two solo laners are stable, it makes it so much easier to build. It's okay. Bot is still winning. Bot is Bot still winning. Support no flash. But how is Weiwei down a camp when he's full clearing and Lee Sin is ganking bot? How? Tell me. You're fucking griefing me. But keep your eyes on the jungle here. Already the shy clapping top. Dragon five minutes in. Oscar. Holy. Takes a lot of damage from the shy. Oh, gonna throw another rock. Okay, he's able to sidestep. Okay, give Drake. One. It's fine. They have Kalista. It's a lot of rock throwing on the Weibo side. It certainly is. <coughs> Dragon now secured for Fnatic. Oscar knows his job is just to survive. Hits level six as the minion wave pushes in, but now he can back TP. Especially since the Dragon already gone, so he knows there's no possibility of the shy TPing down there. So this wave is in a bit of an awkward spot right now for Fnatic. In an ideal world, they want to push it underneath the tower, but they don't have a huge amount of vision around the tri-bush. And if they walk too close, then Light can just trade on them. Look at his guns right now, the root from the Gravidum and the damage from the Infernum. Not something you want to play against right now. There's such a threat as well. You get Graviton rooted, you get Hand Shook, and then Weiwei can have all the time in the world to walk through the tri-bush and round. Flash Twisted Advance, and you're basically Gonzo. Does have the cleanse. We saw please no cover this, Weiwei. Please, please cover this. Please cover this. We can turn this. We can turn this so easy. We can turn this because Renato will be level 5. Come on, we can turn this. Not wasting too much time here. Just making sure that his bot lane is as safe as they possibly can be. This wave slowly pushing back hey, towards... Hey, Rel no flash. Trendy, so they're perfectly fine. Weiwei now shadowing. Both junglers level 5. Razzle has his eyes set on mid. Flash from Xiaohu. Once nice again, flash. Respect. We've seen it in both games. Nice flash. The Weibo mid laner. Always willing to burn that flash. Weiwei here didn't put They're a threatening a dive. in the bush. They were threatening it. Threatening it. The Sentinel also missed Weiwei as he walked around, but the control ward that's in the pixel bush will spot him now. So Fnatic know there is that possibility. No wards on them. I think Trimby's probably 25 seconds away from coming back. Would love to put that in towards the... He's level 5, yeah, but he flashed the, the Syndra stun. So what are you about? Humanoid and Oscar have used their TP, so that's not an option as a defensive play. Looks like that the dive isn't going to come through right now, though, for Weibo. Lee Sin on the top side of the map means that there's no protection for this bot lane, but with Weiwei safely going back to base, Fnatic fans can rest easy knowing that that dive isn't going to come through. It's a really good push timer, though, for Weibo, because after they get this wave in, they can then reset for the Herald, if Herald they so top. desire. It's 30 seconds away from spawning. Razzle is on the top side of the map. Question mark pings coming out on the blue buff as well. I wonder if Weibo think the Razzle has gone die. for that. But with Xiaohu not having flash, Humanoid Flash is in. The Scatter of the Weak and the Unleashed Power enough. Razzle looking for the kick, but he does just have the damage. Tanks the tower and escapes. That was really well played. It was a little messy, but Fnatic get the that was so well, fucking well played. Earth is what made it complicated, he right? had the E on top of him, so he had the flash. Humanoid flashes in with the ultimate. That was so fucking well played by Razzle. At Fuck. the start, so that he can guarantee the stun connecting to then allow the Q to connect, and then Razork realizes the only way I'm getting this kill is if I flash R to get the lower health damage and then execute, but now Weibo's bot lane looking for something. As Trimby steps forward here, the handshake always a possibility. Noah trying to dance around, now hits six, has yes. the base call. Noah looking to get away from it, base call coming out as well. Noah burns the flash and will escape. Moonlight Vigil invested by Light. He has all those chakrams, but they fall off relatively quickly. And with only two minions here, no more plates, a possibility for Weibo. Weiwei will start up the Rift Herald, though. Has up on the bottom side of the map, no way for Fnatic to respond. A really nice trade there from Light and Crisp, just giving the uh, impression that they had gone back to base. And uh, with the play that was made in mid, Razork's not in a position to contest this Herald. Plate should go in favor of Light as well. So overall, a lot of gold still going towards Light. And they can just funnel this Herald towards the bot side of the map as well. So nice. Okay, we're chilling, 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 we're chilling. Light we're chilling. The win condition, and we talked about how Fnatic are going all in on these early game plays. And while they are finding a couple kills, they're not really converting it into anything significant for the time being. Xiaohu now on the roam. We'll spot out See this control, control ward. ward. Yeah. Razor looking for him. Might have to dance away. Doesn't have a ward right now, actually. So if he was caught up, there, we have top push. We have Herald. We have bot push soon. Their Drake's up in 120, but we just mid is vulnerable. Keeping Oscar in. 
below full HP, usually around half. Razork now clears out the control ward, but no red buff steal for him. Let's have another look at this mid lane play. So again, Humanoid flashes in first, throws the ult out, guarantees the stun, the Q then connects. He realizes if he follows that Q, he's going to get stunned, so he flashes to ult to then guarantee the execute damage on the Q. Well played from Razork. He's having an incredible series so far. A 30 CS difference in mid lane. A full level advantage for human. Okay, but it's 20. Don't get cocky. Now 20 CS after catching that wave, but still, this mid gap is continuing to grow. But still, light in a great position. We look at the total. Total gold, gold the shy. Not that yep. far behind Noah. The concerning the thing wave is how many fanatic members are sitting near the top when the it comes shy, to the total goat. gold. Only the shy ahead of Humanoid, Noah and Razork there. With 30 seconds on the Drake though, Light and Crisp getting control through the bottom lane. Something Fnatic would have been looking towards is, can we stack these Drakes early? You can see I the first can't, one man. taken I can't watch this. only five minutes into the game, but because Noah and Trimby are behind in this Kalisa game, no flash. they cannot get the push, it becomes ever so slightly more tricky. And you can see Razork deciding to play through mid instead. Unleash Humanoid on the map and then play around him. Rift Herald a possibility here in the bottom lane. The handshake just short. Weiwei puts down the Rift Herald. Razork and Humanoid move for mid after they gain the prior and might join up a play here. It's Zhao Hu backing, but he does have the TP and he has the wards aplenty to join this fight. Zhao has TP. Like 175 gold for him from the plate. I like this play from Weibo. I think it's smart to just keep funneling gold into light. He is going to be your late game insurance. He is going to be your hyper carry. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, it's a clean play on a stacked wave. They drop the Herald. Little that Fnatic can do to contest it. The Shy just clearing out the wave with his ultimate. Yeah, it's okay, good job, good job. Get the wave in, get the wave in. But his main goal there is just to keep that pressure up. Two plates secured for him. He's constantly had push on the top side. Not really had to be Nice choke, nice, nice, nice. Just fuck him on the tower. From Razork. You want to dive that? If he no, does, then that bot lane tower is going to go down, right? So Oscar does, of course, have the TP. He should look to base here. We get Dragon. We get and Dragon. We get Dragon. Really get dragon. Hey, hey, hey. They have TP ward spot. Maybe watch out. Look at Trimby. He's, gonna, he's got one ward left. Trimby's going to put a ward down right now. Look at Trimby. Weibo have great scaling. Their range is going to become a he real put it down. problem later on into this game. You're going to get TP'd on They're really, if they you push. A dragon off of these early kills. Herald and the second dragon gone. Please. Weibo and all these plates still being collected by the way. Please sweep Weibo it. Will be very happy with this position, especially against Please the sweep it. They can be very aggressive in the Callista and the Rel. Obviously, we do still have, you know, mid game Weibo fights, here. second fights. Weibo looking for the nature's grass. Noah has the cleanse. The root lands, but there's the face call to get him away. So okay, they can't fight now. They don't have Clestals. Hey, go back, go back with Steve. Go back with him. He well. saw the ward. It's not just about the fact that you are getting these summoners out of Fnatic, although that's obviously a huge benefit. It's also about the fact that Fnatic now have to think, is Weiwei there? Can we step up? Can we go further? Because if we do, I no longer have the cleanse. He could flash root me, and then I'm pulled back with a handshake, or even with the hostile take. Hey, 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 keep defending. Bot side, but Weiwei once again here, everyone knows bot lane is the place to be. Now there's a fight in mid lane over that control. Both of these mid laners want to be able to roam down. Humanoid going for a nice trade. We'll proc the phase rush. He gets the splinters as well. 58 of them. 120 is when you get the extra AP. 100 is when your ultimate. Man, you're getting blasted in mid shahu. Marek Brazda. Does have some power as we get towards the mid game, but. Shao Hu absorbing the pressure really well in the mid lane. Such an experienced mid laner as well. Obviously, Marek Brasta. No, we have to win. Very good at understanding how to play when you are not on the strong side of the map. Here comes a QE to your face. The ultimate, but it will be up soon. Again, Humanoid continuing to poke away at Shao Hu. Billy Andrews doing that extra bit of tick damage as both supports make their way towards mid. The Shy is milking top. Game slows down a bit, Betty. Oh, yeah, but I mean, I think Weibo is really happy with this. Yeah. This game state is a very comfortable Crisp, one to be in. Crisp. Jimmy gets the stun. Humanoid looks for a little bit more. The scatter of the weak. Exhaust. The unleashed power won't be yes. enough through the exhaust. As nice. No ult. No ult. No ignite. Intent to kill is stifled by that summoner. Yo, Crisp. Light. You need to reset, buddy. Now burnt. Light stepping up a little bit. They're He's gonna flash on you. As well as Noah flashes forward, cleanse away, but there's the slow one to light, and you can see where Trimby's trying to get in from. No flash, no cleanse on light. Trimby can flash in and look for that Magnus Storm. Razzle on his way as well. Trimby takes the knock up, the Magnus Storm. Can we get Trimby? Well they have, have no Callisto. Trimby ult. follows suit. Razzle gets the kick away to make sure that the Shy can't close the gap. Noah can Okay, back one for one is fine. Guard. And Trimby actually didn't have fine. the Magnus Storm in that it's play. It's fine. So that's why he didn't use that ultimate. Uh, no, also didn't have mana for yep. the ultimate as well. But now Humanoid's in a bit of danger. Wait, wait. Sees at the play. Oh no, hang on a minute. Flash for Weiwei. He's on a ward, he's on a ward, he's on a ward. Well. 
Humanoid sees it was in the shop, knocked back though, and now Xiao Hu can look for the seismic shot. Oh yeah, wait, wait. It's just at the tip. The seismic shot back on Humanoid. Okay. Falls okay. To Weibo in mid. Okay. 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 We the got bot tower too. We got bot tower well. too. Nice. And very quickly, this goal okay. is going in the favor of Weibo. Fnatic found some good early picks, but Weibo played the patient game. Fine. They played the long game. This is fine. And now they're walking away with the advantage. No it's flash, Kalista. Punish onto Humanoid. They get his flash out. They get a kill onto Zhao Hu. And now they've been able to neutralize the game a lot more. This look back. Noah had to burn a lot. The movement speed from Light is enough to just keep that gap between him and Noah. Then the dive comes through. Trimmy misses the initial stun. He gets a huge kill from the ultimate. And then again, Noah, no mana for the ulti to bring him to safety. Good kick there from Razork. But Humanoid shouldn't just been basing underneath the tower. Wants to get a quicker base off. He does see the Maokai, but he doesn't flash in time. And then he tries to flash out of the way of uh, the Die. ultimate here. But it just sets up for the knockback from Zhao Hu. And of course, isn't able to flash away from the root. So... Hey! hey, 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 hey. The off the That's not allowed, is it? More than, 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 more than. Now there's the Weaver's wall to separate the team. Kill that guy. Don't let him get it. Don't let him get it. He's gonna hex flash over in W back. Don't let him get it. Fnatic can't get in and get out. Razzle does have the dragon's rage. So who could look for Noah here? Seismic shot dodged by Noah. Fnatic using the fact that Weibo is spending their time around this site to allow Oscar winning to push in bot and humanoid push. We're getting mid tower, no? Razor. But look at yeah. He's going for the. He's going for the kick. He gets the kick on Xiao Hu into the Magnus Storm, and now Xiao Hu's pulled back. Stunned up, locked up, and Oscar winning enjoys the fray. That's two for Fnatic. Unbelievable kick from Razork there. I didn't think they'd try and make a play. Hang on a minute, light. Nice. Okay, yeah. Just How did he get that kick? Where's Maokai Q? He's going to be forced to run away from that tower, unlocking that. But Weibo, they were pushing in mid. They were just kind of defending this top tower. Then Razork says, I see an angle. Goes in, gets a great kick onto Xiao, who chooses not to flash away, realizing that there's no real point. And they get themselves a double kill. I think that the TP from Oscar was a little unnecessary. But you know what? Fnatic make it work. They've been able to claw the gold lead back, but really it's dead even between the two teams. Weibo have gotten so much map control. How did he get that kick? The top tower is going to fall. The pings are coming down. The bot tower has fallen as well. They've unlocked mid too. So Weibo definitely not in a bad spot, even though Fnatic have the kill lead. Yeah, it feels like Fnatic need to keep finding inventory. that Drake. Plays, whereas Weibo can just keep waiting. They don't have to leave though. Scaling. Oscar only has the second old. dragon. As you say, Oscar does mm -hmm. have the all out. Couldn't be trying to join in the fray as well. No magnet storm for him. No flash either. Why does my Aphelios have a collector? Shahu's ultimate up in is he going uh, a lethality Derek? Is he going, going collector? Before it comes back off cooldown. So it's two dragons to one now. 17 minutes in. Basically, honors even between these two teams. Only the Drake really separated. How did he get that kick? Look here as Razzle flies. Maokai Q, fuck me. Just really nice play. The follow up from Trim. Where's well. that Maokai Q at? I think he does go for the ward hop here, but then he just flashes. It. Yeah, the ward isn't quite where he wants it, but he gets the job done. Secures the kickback on the Xiao Hu and he decides, you know what, flashing away is pointless here. I see the TP coming. May as well hold that summon as well. The, the Shai? He's fine, he's fine. The team is there to support. I think he's in he's fine. danger than he was a moment ago as the best of Weibo. Here to react quickly. Trimby on a ward once again. Caught out, full back. With Fight him! Shape, wait, wait. Much damage to follow it up. Only the Maokai there who's gone Radiant Virtue first as well. No Demonic. Weibo way, way. doing the uh, correct thing here and just playing for that final out of tower and top lane. Giving the support to the Shai. Fnatic, it's only really humanoid that can match the bro, wave clip from the what shite. is happening? And yeah, the shite, bro, the shite is complete. He, he took all three towers so far, alone. He took all three this towers. The difference has just kind of shifted back and forth. While Fnatic have found a bunch of kills, Weibo have done pretty good in terms of the farm discrepancies on uh, both the Shy and Light. Also, all those plates that they picked up in the early game and these early towers has resulted in the situation that we now find ourselves in. You can see that goal difference over time. The range is only a thousand either way. It stayed very close. And again, I think that this favors Weibo overall. It'll ultimately come down to how these team fights in the mid game are played. In game one, Fnatic had a good lead and they out team fought Weibo in the mid game, but can they do the same thing now? Light is getting stronger. Can he be shut down or will he and the Shy run rampant in the team fights? And the big, the big fight we expect to see is in three minutes time around that mountain. Drake Weibo will want to stop Fnatic getting onto Soul Point. They can delay if they feel necessary, but it'll be a little bit trickier for them because at that point, every Drake is Soul. 
Xiaohu here does have the flash. He has Renato in his pocket as well as Fnatic starts to deny the vision. The wave cleared out as Razo is just going to tank it. Dragon's Rage kick gets back. Trimby with the flash down as well as Xiaohu is locked out. He thought it was safe, but not for long as Trimby now tanks the nature's grasp. He can be pulled back with the base call as Noah flashes away to escape the shy. What happened to Rezork? He's so fucking good! Doesn't really amount to much. The Shy is here to defend the good TP, and I guess Xiaohu just felt safe. He he one-shot that wave. He thought that this dive was going to be extremely difficult, and he thought that he'd have the support from his team, but Razork once again with a kick to the face sends Xiaohu into the waiting arms of Fnatic where they find a pick. But you called it Medic, no tower, no advantage really gained, just a single pick. And that's Noah's summoner's gone. Two minutes until the Mountain Dragon. And the Shy is going to know that. Xiaohu invested nothing. Only the Weaver's oh, yeah. Law has the Flash, has the TP. Hang TP on, immediately Baron. by Weibo. They're looking for the Baron here. Light with... Oh, Shin my Sider God. wants to fight. Humanoid now pushing in. As you say, that, can, that ward in the back of it is actually cancelled. They cannot see it right now. Now they can because of the... Fast sight alteration, TP in, Razork now tanking up the Baron, Oscar winning, joins the fray, Weiwei on the front line, Nature's Grasp not available for him for a few more seconds, 15 at least as Weiwei stunned up, the Unleashed Power, oh! Oscar goes in but Light able to flash away just in time, for me and Toku strength, the hostile takeover is being used as well as Noah tries to get into the battle, but Trimby's already down and now Wei Bo can start to turn it around, the Baron down to 3000, Humanoid dancing around doing everything he can, but he's locked up, stunned up as Oscar dives in front of his mid lane, the Baron, the Baron, the Baron, yes! Yes! There it is! There it is! Yes! Okay! 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 We're back! We're back! We're back in business! There it is! Okay! Yeah, shut up! Shut up! All of you, shut up! I hate you! 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 Yeah, you're taunting me for hours! You're taunting me for hours! You're driving me crazy! You're making me think they're not good! You're driving me crazy! Shut up! Okay, we're back! We're back! And then this We're back. From Xiao, yeah, that was really clean by Xiao. I never doubted him. He loses his life. A lot of the damage I never doubted him. No I never doubted him. Involved. Okay. Just okay. This range discrepancy. Weibo okay. Come on. Let's go now. Let's go. Now we pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Cool down, Big pace now. Come on. No Give me the pace. Give me the pace. No Dragon in twenty. Come. Invest them in the top lane play. And Weibo knowing that are like, actually. How are they going to fight us if we're here? We still you have, have no idea what it's like to have, have 80,000 people say, you're a fraud, you're dumb, you're a traitor, I hate you. For an hour and a half while they're losing. Okay, shut up! No summoners still on Noah. The clan's about to come off court and Oscar in has the all out. The seismic shove goes wide. Razork's looking for the flank. He's trying to be as sneaky as he can and with a good kick. What a way it would be to make Fnatic's way into Don't the fuck it up. finals. What a standout series Razork has had. Join Misfits just a few years He's going to kick you. Uh, sapling spots Razork. He's gonna jump the Where's wall. The wall? There's another sapling that finds him immediately. Shao who comes in with the Weaver's Wall or the Fnatic back away from it. Fnatic don't have to fight this Drake, but you we can got see the time slipping away. The sands in the hourglass starting to slip through their fingers. The dragon resets. Where's the Malco? The Where's the Malco? He's got Meganar. It's timing out down to half on the timer on that right now. He's spotted by the ward. He uses the sweeper. But once again, that sweeper will expire and the ward will come back alive. Mininar now. We don't have Mega. Razzle's still standing behind the pit. He's hey, 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 Malco, 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 the smite yes sir clean them the shy don't die do oh yeah baby you soak those damages clean them clean them clean them clean them crispy clean that's us boys that's us yeah that's us that's us show some respect show some respect on the name show some respect show some respect the show some respect as Weibo chase him down, Kill him. the red buff there, but the Shy's there too, as Weibo get the clean ace. It's a clean ace once yep, again it is. for Weibo. Put Fnatic some respect. just can't deal damage, the Maokai provides so much zone control when combined with the Renata. The Shy continues to be unkillable, but like, look at how the Fnatic fight this. It's so difficult for them to actually get in range. Oscar takes so much damage initially. Shut up. Humanoid and Noah zoned in the back. The early cleanse from Noah. 
He goes over the wall I don't care if you're a sub, space, a mod, a VIP. Bro, and he loses his I life. have dealt with enough the these last two years. So much Shut up. Stronger from Weber with this composition, this prioritization on the Aphelios. And it's making such a massive difference. Weibo come out on top in the fight. Weibo dominating for Fnatic. Dominating Fnatic, rather. And they're looking to equalize this series. And they just waited their time, Betty. They played it safe and steady in the early game. And now 24 minutes in, it is a 10,000 gold lead for Weibo. Light I'm going to be honest. I'm gonna be honest, I think the Shy is actually carrying this whole game. I'm not trying to be a fanboy here, but I think if, if the Shy didn't have top pressure, this game was lost. Like, on, a, on an unbiased opinion, if there was no top pressure, this game was fucked. They would not get a single outer, and they would be choked out of every dragon fight. That's a non- that's a non-biased the Shy take. Because mid was losing. Just Bot was not getting as much pressure, and Lighting Jungle was getting outpaced. Over to 15. Those three items primed and ready to go with the Vamp Scepter to boot. He's about to change guns. Yeah, I think this game's done. This game's done. This game's done. It goes to the next one. The, this one's unlosable. And that's not even a cope take. They don't have the scaling. Fnatic don't have the champs. Fnatic don't have the champs. Lee Sin Syndra past 25 minutes without a lead. Ooh. It's rough. Because your single target damage burst, and when you're... When no you fall behind with these champs, enemies can build defensive matter. items like Zonyas or um, has a huge I don't know, they just get base the HP or they have Renata or whatever. Looks like he's out of position, takes a lot of the cooldowns, then QSS, takes it up, whatever it is. Disengages, so you don't the have the damage. An opportunity. They go for the fight don't afterwards. have the damage. And just look at where the vision line advances to as soon as Weibo gain control of the game. There is not a single ward for Fnatic outside of their base. In fact, there are no wards in their base, only their towers granting them vision where they are not currently standing and Weibo have littered at least the top side. They have a control ward at the Surely, right? I don't want to jinx it, but right. Your, your, your Aphelios is three levels up on Kalista. Push out mid. Like, don't fucking tell me this is losable now. For Weibo. And the time is starting to tick over for the Baron as well. 17 seconds on it. Fnatic have not denied all the vision in their jungle. There are still wards there. There are still positions the lane. for the Shy to TP in. As you say, top yeah, lane. Yeah, just let, let the Shy do the work. The let the Shy do the work. Fnatic trying to find anything they can. I mean, Weibo are playing this incredibly smart. They set up the vision. Fnatic's forced to clear it out. But what they're doing now... Let the Shy do the work. Why is the Shy not pushing side? He's bot, scared of what? And now you have these two big points of pressure. And scared of losing mid push? Into this awkward situation, Why are they forcing Nash? Why do you need mid push? You could be hitting bot tier two. Tier three. Oh, that Q was crazy. Why aren't we hitting? It? it doesn't matter. They doesn't have TP. What is happening, guys? Yo. Can we hit bot? The shy? We don't need TP. They don't have any good engage. Oh, what the oh, fuck, oh, Aphelios-ing. Oh, 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 Aphelios time, baby. Shoot him. Well no Humanoid follows suit. Wards go in the bushes. Oscar tries to tank it up. The hostile takeover short, but Oscar trying to keep his team alive. May have Man, I feel like the so sequence from Weibo TP was so bad. Now, Shauhu, looking for the, the shy is mega. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. He gets the kill, but he gets out. Oh yeah. Outclassed by Weibo. Okay. End it. End it. And and Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. No, they can't end. I think. The only man to fall here for Weibo. Inhibitor will fall. The same people who were spamming "Cajal, you're dumb" are now spamming "Oh my God, EU, you, you thought." <laughs> shut up, bro. With shut a great up. Aphelios performance. <laughs> only a single death this game. Shut up. I can see it from the names. And his range was just so incredibly difficult to deal with. You're going to see it here. Starts with the turret. That applies the green gun auto. Applies another one. Two autos basically execute Razor. Remove him from the fight. Collector almost finishing that kill off. Then Oscar tries to go through the unsafe way. Almost loses his life as well. And then the Shy says, you know what? I'm TPing in. I've got Mega Nart. I can immediately ultimate when I arrive. And that's exactly what he does. Humanoid has no flash. You'll see a knockback from Jiao who doesn't really get that initial kill onto Humanoid. He throws his whole combo onto the Shy, he just brushes it off. Razzle does get that kill, flashes out. But the damage is done, the inhibitor Okay. Fall. 
They got dragon. Wait, they got dragon. Wait. They got dragon. The dragon as well. Uh, dragon went over to Fnatic actually while oh, Weber were doing the Baron. Oh, we got Nash. We got Nash. Okay. I was gonna say, how did we get top in a base and lose dragon? We got Nash. We got Nash. That's the answer. That's the answer to the question mark. You don't have to worry about it. That's the answer. They got Nash. Okay, cool. In his back pocket right now, you have to think it's just gonna be a one-four split. It looks like Light currently pushing in the bottom lane. Crisp and the Shy will meet up in mid. Vision control gained around this blue side jungle. Fnatic forced back, found wanting. So we have Maokai ult bot tier three. We Maokai ulted. They have no cleanse on, on Kalista. They can't step up. No flash on Syndra, no stopwatch. They might have to use Rel to block Maokai ult and Kalista ult, but then they're already out. Level 18 on Nar, three levels up. That's my goat. You can wall them. That they have a path back to victory, at least in this game. Weaver's wall once again. Xiaohu looking for Razor. He dashes oh, back. Oh, Xiaohu, the E timer. Razor's looking for those kicks, but he ain't kicking nothing. He ain't kicking nothing. Oh, get him, Light. Oh, get him, Light. No, I feel so bad. I'm sorry. Yo, I'm sorry, Fennec. I'm sorry. An early grave for them as Humolo will follow suit. It is a meager grave for Fnatic in this game. They tried everything You're such they an could in the You're so early dumb. game, but they just could not match Weibo. Okay. And we are going to game three. See how he just I mean, leaves Weibo, the stage? They just slowed the game down. They changed the poppy to the Bro, the Banshee's in the crowd again. And they got Take the mic away from her. solid team fight comp. Fnatic went all in on the early game. Okay. And they just could not make it work. They could not I hate find this. those early game advantages. I hate this. And in the team fights, I hate this. Weibo just came out on top. I can't watch this. Yeah, they did. We'll see if they can bounce back, or if Fnatic can bounce back in game two, or if Weibo take it two and one. We're gonna go to a short break, but don't you I dare go anywhere. I hate this. I can't do this! It's either I watch Weibo lose or Fnatic lose. What's the win?
here, right 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 here, I'm back. I washed my hands as well this time. Yeah, the blind pick Cassante, I think he's not working very well for Fnatic. I think Fnatic need to change it up. Light on Aphelios is lights out for Fnatic in game. Two. I also think Fnatic might first pick Aphelios. The early lead, maybe they were feeling it a bit too much, and the comp wasn't as much as the game progressed. What are you I, showing I'm worried. Us? I'm worried. I'm worried about step three. I hope that <laughs> no. doesn't happen. No. No, 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 no. Step two was Callista. Can you yes. please? It has a little eraser we'll function. Just erase it, please. I, I don't want for this to sanity. happen. For my sanity. I feel like at this point, uh, Razor deserves a he deserves a win, man. That, yeah, that I is mean, this two is, games back to back. Is this not Annie Leeson? Um, Why did they pick Kalista over Leeson's Aphelios? Solo queue game I don't know. Ever. <laughs> you get yeah, you and then you type in chat and you just flame and everybody. Then you lose. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, but there's much more to this game than that. The Baron also, and I think uh, yeah. you had a fanatic who again had a really strong early game. They were feeling themselves. Razor, Razor was playing actually very, very, very well. So where did they lose the plot, or where did Weibo take control? Uh, so specifically, the turning point in the game, uh, as we're going to watch some of the early highlights from Razork, was actually What's the score? It's 1-1. One, one. Man, Razork played so well that game. Then prompted yeah. Weibo to start the Baron. And I think that this actually... Can you imagine enough, you were casting this game? <coughs> I mean, Riot wouldn't put me on a cast. If I was still a caster, they wouldn't put me casting this game. I think that with this composition, you do need to. think about it. The problem is just that it just doesn't allow you... That would be a bit degenerate to let me cast this. backfiring. Yeah, especially when you look at, like, Elise trying to operate against... I love you, Kato. Same when you look at the Kalista. It becomes really, really Yamato called you Satan. Well, if there was no Satan, there'd be no fun. If everyone was the Satan... That's why we no one would be, everyone would be like boring. So fuck you, I'm different. Yeah, but it just I'm built different, and so is Weibo. So you're about to suck like on their nutsack when you lose, bitch. Really moving that much, right? There wasn't that close. much gotten for Fnatic in return. This is the top play, I believe. Yeah, so this is specifically, like, you can understand why Fnatic is going for this play because they're thinking that Xiaohu has been someone that they've been able to pick on pretty much this whole series. But then, specifically, Noah burning alt, cleanse, and flash. And immediately, oh, Weibo say, this is it. our moment. Let's just start. Are you not doing any more Riot Games casts? Are you going to be on the analyst desk? Why are you, you guys asking? Electric guys, I retired. I'm not, I'm not going to cast ever again. I'm, I'm not on the desk. I'm done. I, I retired. It's done. To burn those summoner spells I retired. No one messes up the LEC game. finals was my last cast. In, which means that he actually just gets caught by the Mel anyway, Well, that's a lie to be honest. I will probably cast a bit next year, but not much. Maybe like a couple series. So it's unfortunate those like a lot of new people here, they don't know that you're uh, I might guess I'll probably guess on the LEC, maybe. You know, I'll be like, yo, and uh, maybe I'll do a cast with like Dracos or something. But uh, yeah, I won't be there much at all. Bit of a, bit of Next year, we're gonna go back to the OG. Uh, we're gonna be co-streaming LCS, uh, co-streaming LCK, co-streaming LPL. The, uh, you know, you know we're gonna be doing lots of variety, uh, lots of content well. with players. My heart. And then just we're gonna do a lot of stuff. Maybe LCS co-streams too, if they give it to me. I'm, I've not been allowed to co-stream the LCS for the last three years uh, because I've been part of Riot, LEC, right? But now maybe I can get LCS co-streaming and we can co-stream LCS. That'll be really fun. I actually feel like watching it. But I've never watched the LCS before, so that'll be funny. They don't necessarily care the most about Aphelios. Then, Ori then Oriana Aphelios is locked in. But then you go to game two, cast... Callista makes it through the band. Are you casting any worlds? No. So therefore, Aphelios can go over to Weibo on the Are you going to coach him any C? I don't know. Paradigm needs to shift. So rather than picking a Callista here, or necessarily a Renata Poppy here since this game one draft is yeah. more what we need to Next year is going to be LCK co streams, LPL co streams, the usual. Either Maybe LCS and some LEC coverage. 
but a lot of this a lot of variety that's the thing that i'm going to be watching for in this final game through draft yeah you made a face with a tear i don't know what that's about but also a lot of solo queue also a lot of solo queue we might do a we might do a trip to korea solo queue like a proper one i need to get back to challenger now that i have more time it's time to stop fucking around i think if you're going to get back to challenger you need to play an aggressive lane that enables her i will never leave the league scene i think until the league scene dies because i'm too passionate about some players and teams i don't know i'm a big i'm a bit i'm a big advocate for like players league players in general like i feel like sometimes they either go under the radar when they play so well or they get attacked too much when they do a play that looks like a mistake but it was a scenario where it was the least worst outcome you know so i like to always make sure i'm there what is this qualification the pressure could not be higher and has not been this high for either of these teams in this world championship yet uh, we talked about kind of the clutches that fanatic has been able to do in the past but i add on to that the team that has this guy wrote the shy on piano the shy that have done tremendous things in their career as well well they did beat the shy drops they made that's in history in game one <laughs> uh, but i'd say last year wasn't it for fanatic but they've had so many moments where when they can make a run on the final day to qualify for bracket stage the they have 2017 they were on board and made it 2018 they beat Michael twice to get the one seed 2019 they 3 over the day against clutch T1 and RNG so based on that history this wouldn't even be that historic but it definitely is a lot of pressure what I'm looking for from Fnatic is a draft that can actually team fight I think that in the previous game they were kind of hamstrung in way of what the Delters the whole pack Dom, stop smoking. Let's go. What is that? The Viano? The violin? I'm in the violin. Bro, that was sick. That was sick, man. That was cool. That was super cool. Thanks for that. That's really nice. have the highest highs, maybe. I'm not going to say bar none, that's a lie, but very, very high yeah. highs. It doesn't often come together. It would be really unfortunate for Fnatic if this is the game that it all does. It would, because the mid jungle has been bad for Weibo. And usually Weibo is Xiao Hu is a three-time MSI champion, but has never actually won the championship Two worlds. of Worlds. Well, emperor, he's man. been to seven Worlds, yet it seems like the pressure is getting to him seven worlds? than ever before. Humanoid has always been a human Link it? It's on the Reddit. I can link it, but it's on a YouTube video. <laughs> no! It, that's possibly it's what here. this is going to come down to, because if go. we don't if we don't get a Nefelios diff, it's going to be a very close game. Yeah, I mean, just going off of Jack's point, though, like, Kind of going back to Shaohu, it's like Spring belonged to Shaohu and RNG in the LPL. It was Summer always belonged to EDG. Now, EDG didn't end up making it in the end. And it kind of yeah, because they lost to Weibo. Over towards JDG. But Shaohu, it really feels like he needs to step up now on this world stage. He hasn't done it before. And if Uzi he built goes, fucking vegan virus and deserved to lose. True and based. Be, who's going to step up in this final game for either Fnatic or Weibo with a spot in the quarterfinal on the line? Or you go home. Take it away, Medi Fetty. All right, let's get a bit in-game focused now, chat. I'm sure some people might be a bit annoyed with me being so focused on who's just winning rather than what the game's doing. So we'll to focus on draft. Fair? Fair? We'll focus on draft really hard. Strong for both teams. Haven't really had that sort of mid-late game. Both teams kind of winning fights battle as of yet. I'm hoping for it in game three. I'm going to be honest. I'm sorry. Sometimes my emotions over overtake my... Um, I think if you're a Fnatic fan, it's on Fnatic's my, side. My wrist hurts. If you're a Weibo fan, it's probably on Weibo's side. So, what do we know? Weibo highly prioritizes the Renata. Yep. They've also shown they're willing to first pick the Orianna. Mm -hmm. uh, Fnatic highly value a good mid lane matchup. Who's blue side? Fnatic, right? A lot of pressure has been put on Xiaohu individually. He's I think Weibo... Series, where's my pen? I honestly focus. think... Yeah. So, Zaya, Maokai, Aphelios. Ori Azir trade. Of Early rotate Kalista Zeri. Overall can be an effective strategy. 
now they're going to ban Rumble. Sure Shy is out. And no, he's not. <gasps> I've got a stain on my T-shirt. So they need to no! find ways to mitigate what he can do in the early game. And the way in which Fnatic is trying to do that is through either having a winning jungle matchup in the form of Lee Sin into Maokai, or by having a pushing bot lane two versus two. So, Jarf and Ben. With all that in mind, what will the first pick be? My speculation what happens if they ban Renata on three, and that's how Fnatic adapts? I, imagine I really think. Let that through. Unless you can play Kalista into Aphelios, you can't play Kalista Renata 1 2 if they first pick Aphelios. So if they ban Renata. So there it is. There's the adaptation that Renata is being banned away and not the Maokai. Is your shirt signed? Yeah, it is. So now what do you ban? They're going to first pick Aphelios with this Renata ban because you can't do Kalista Renata 1 2. So you could ban Orianna, give them Aphelios first pick, go Kalista Azir, and then. Support on three. So Rel, flex. Is it just a Felios? I mean, I, I would like that. I think it's a good first pick, personally. And they're gonna do or it. you could right, drop so the Kalista said, pick you know what, Noah, you're, you're and just so do Azir Rel and pick Kalista on three, uh, if you really think it's OP. Wait, Maokai's up! Wait, who Maokai is here? Maybe? He's only lost four and then Kalista on three. Uh, say, Noah, something we saw in the LEC playoffs was he does get quite nervous. They are not going to blind Cassante again games, he because he's choking on it. And you can drop the four five because you have Gwen Jax. No! Okay, Jesus Christ. You have Gwen Jax, Nar, Gwen Jax, Nar, uh, Aatrox into Cassante. So, so my question is, do you early rotate Sejuani? They could do Sejuani. Akali. Actually, into Maokai's here. It is now being given back to him. Yep. One of his they could do Sejuani Akali. It's, uh, it's a scary thing to go up against. Already this team fight power of Wave Silas. is looking strong. Yeah, Silas Akali. Mm. Are they really going to... I mean, I do quite like Silas into what they're showing. It also kind of pushes the mm. way the idea of an I think they're doing Alice Silas Sejuani then instead so, yeah. of Sejuani Akali. Now, it's the same thing. They must be doing the same formula, right? Some pop -off performances on the Sejuani Silas. His career. Then what, we're picking Kalista? enough for game three? Humanoid and... and just lock in. I was Sejuani, yeah. Locked it in before I could speculate. I was like, wow. yeah, just you do a great champion with melee champions. The Sejuani. But, Kalista? Uh, yeah, does make sense. Go back to what might work for you in game one. So now, do you, you don't, I don't think you match. I think you can lock in top here if you want. You can grab yourself something like the Cassante. Why? Why? Uh, Why? Why are we picking Cassante? Why? What's actually, the point? Well, I don't like that. Choices. I hate that. The top pool, but I don't think that matters. Now you have I to ban Jax, Weibo, you should consider Renekton, and what? He gets Aatrox? It's toughy. And if you don't ban tops, he gets Renekton for free. So, so if you ban like Nautilus here, because you're going for Rakan and force Rakan ban, and you ban, you go Alistar. You can't go Alistar. You have to ban Nautilus, Alistar. They ban Rakan. Rakan Rel. They play. Oh, they play. They play Chris Leona on four. Then they can play Aphelios Brown. Depends. Because they could also just ban Kalista Kaisa. They can ban Kalista Kaisa or Rakan Alistar. Or Rakan uh, Rel. Kalista Kaisa or Rakan Rel. What are they going to do? Kalista. Okay. I mean, it's possible. But as you say, it is the shy. They should ban Alistar. Or? Alistar? He does have a lot of Rock on four. Sunday as well. His sick most played Poppy. The course of his career. Oscar and Jax. They're scared of Poppy Top. We've seen him bring out a few times, but not Yeah, because they want Rock on four. On too regularly. The Poppy right? ban for Weibo. I feel like this might be a Zeri pick. Yeah. For Weibo. Yeah, know. they could go Zeri. I mean, the Poppy that What's the last ban Jinx? Oscar. He demonstrated against Bin. Okay, they're taking away the Jinx, but I think the I don't Zeri like Rakan. I think they should counter pick support and have a pushing lane bot I, I with this draft. Here from, uh, from pushing lane bot. Caitlyn. Okay, but what do we do about blind blitzcrank? Long range, what are you playing to blind blitzcrank? Are you playing Caitlyn? Ah! We play Caitlyn Leona? Also, they didn't ban Jax or Gwen. So what if they pick Jax or Gwen? Morgana. Morgana is a trash champ. Olaf. Jax. Olaf. Okay. 
Olaf. This support pick is going to determine the game. The <coughs> support pick. I think they should blind blitz crank. If I was them, I would say it's last game. Play with confidence. Blind blitz. He's hovering it, he's thinking about it, but surely not. I think it's way too ambitious against the Caitlyn. Do it. Oscar brought out the Olaf Do it. They're going to play Caitlyn Lux. You have to blind blitz. Lulu, what? They can play Caitlyn Lux? Pike? Alistar? Whoa, Alistar into, into Caitlyn Lux? Ooh, I think he was panicking a bit there. I think he was panicking a bit there. I liked everything else more than the Alistar. I don't know. Alistar felt like the worst option. You pick Pike and Rome. You pick Karma, get push. You pick Lulu, you scale. You pick Blitzcrank, you have kill threat. You pick Alistar, you get fucked. Like. Caitlyn Lux. All right. It's something that Europe has. All right, you know the drill. You can use your tier one or Twitch Prime to avoid ads by subbing to the channel, and you'll never get ads during the entirety of Worlds. You don't have to sub if you don't want to, because you'll never get ads during the game. But you can sub if you want to avoid ads. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the draft analysis. I'll do a little bit of game analysis, but I need to be my my brain is like fucking my 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 brain is brain fogged right now. What I think would be smart for them is a delay. I forgot about side. Olaf. I didn't actually expect him to play Olaf. Yeah. Like but Olaf into Azir Maokai is definitely sex. Impact on the bot side of the map. Even if the shy gets bullied, even if he goes 0 4, the question then becomes do you think that an Olaf is strong enough to 1v9 the game? And could they even get Oscar in, in ahead enough that he could even do that? And what a weight on Oscar's shoulders that would be as well in his first worlds first international so i like the adaptations that weibo have made i think that they've got a really good long range composition they feel like that it's going to come down to the i think that alistar pick again. might have lost the game you know again is very strong they've got so I think much that alistar so pick might have fucked them and while Razork has had some great early games he's gonna have to find a way to unlock this bot lane for fanatic okay so olaf, olaf has to carry for fanatic if you're a fanatic fan olaf is your carry three. Olaf has to get ahead. If Olaf's ahead, he can single-handedly take Azir Maokai out of the fight. And he gets side push versus Kassante. But if Caitlyn Lux fists the Aphelia so far... This is the weird thing if you're a jungler on stage. I've been in this situation so many times in a competitive game. You have a, a kill, like a top laner that if he gets ahead can carry the game, but you have a bot lane getting fisted on the tower. What do you do? Do you play to dive top and sack as much as, as least you can bot? Or do you play to cover bot and try to cut the losses and scale? It's a really hard choice to make. This is actually one of the hardest choices as a jungler to make sometimes. Do you get your Olaf ahead and pray that it's just a cross map? Or do you limit the losses and pray for a team fight? Because if you limit the losses, I can tell you, your Aphelios, minute six, is going to be standing here while you're here. Maybe also they just want to make sure I like to cut the losses on the top in like 60-70% of the games I like to cut losses because oftentimes your melee support um, your melee support has kill pressure with your jungler and if they overstep and make a mistake you can punish it so it looks like Razork's going to play to cover as well unless he does some invade like this after three camps but I doubt it he could do like blue grump wolves into mid try and get Azir flash then play bot because actually limiting mid is really good at if you limit mid that can help out a lot oh my god this is really making it to the international stage limiting mid is really important in this because if your Silas can get mid push that actually changes bot dynamic so I think Razor should early gank mid. All right. This would be the first time ever in LPL's history that they got all four out into the quarters. Often there is that one sacrifice. Everyone back to praying. I can tell you this lane is unlaneable. This is unlaneable. Like what can Alistair do in this lane, man? It's it is absolute misery. They at least if they had Blitzcrank, they could try and trade back. But what does Alistar do right now? He just takes it. The harassment continues. Pushing lane top. Pushing lane bottom. Side nah, mid is not gankable. Humanoid to trade but Humanoid is trading so well. What the no fuck? On the Silas, though, expected that he runs the TP, so just trading forward on his bot lane, struggling to even step forward in the lane. Oscar in here, pushed under the tower by the Shy early on. Now, this Olaf will be difficult to deal with. Late oh, if that hit. Like, no one can stop it. <laughs> That's the whole point of his ultimate. Uh, if he gets strong enough, he can just... This is the risky thing. When do you go bot as well? And there's nothing that a, Lu a Lux, a Lulu Lux, can do to protect that, right? Uh, zero utility. 
Oh my god. They're able to land that binding and again against Snorlaf, that won't be a problem. But in this laning phase, it's just... Oh my god, it's, it's so unlaneable. But if Weibo Gaming bot lane makes a mistake, it's over. You can see Trimby running the D-Mad as well, knowing they're always going to be... He's scared of Q-Flash here, Light. Weibo needs to get four camps, uh, two camps now, Grump and Blue and just cover bot. You can take back in a lane where the enemy's taking miles. He has to cover bot. If you don't cover bot this game, you fucking open. Exactly what the doctor ordered for Weibo, getting bot prio has been so important. So it looks like Razork's gonna try and play through mid. just that extra bit of safety as Razork spots him out with the Scryer's Bloom. Oscar trading with the Shy. Shy has and Tofu strikes can knock back Oscar here, holding it. Knock up just wide as Oscar puts on his dancing shoes for a second. Oh, he huh? the bring That's bugged. Bring him underneath the tower. Doesn't Oscar have, gets a nice trade. He has trade. Q3 again. Oscar needs to be careful. Low on mana there. Yeah. But uh, both top laners just skirting on the Okay, well, Maokai loses double crab. And uh, bottom crab secured for Razor. He's getting a bit of information. Crisp is almost doomed. He's spawned of the Raptors, and he should be able to steal those away. So great awareness there from him. It's also Weiwei decided to shadow Crisp and Light to make sure they weren't getting... Look, Light, you have to hit the creep to get the last hit. Razor got a little bit of extra time to, like... Light binding into Lucent Singularity once again, finding nowhere in Trimby. Crisp running a little bit. Don't choke it, Light, please. I believe he pops a biscuit and he'll be okay. Credit to Humanoid. He's also winning in this 1v1 matchup. Uh, I guess the Hail of Blades not coming out from the. Oh my god, look at it. It's just. If you step really forward, fun. you get Light binding, you then get trapped, and you're, you're done for. So Noah has to step back through the Lucent Singularity there. It's gonna be two plates as well. They know Vazok was oh, on the top side of the map a little while ago. No vision on him now, but Light and Crisp have the safety of a tri-bush ward. They have the safety Keep milking bot. He's gonna Q flash now, I think, for me. Well. When the when the yeah, range creep dies, Light needs to step back. Down here with a CS lead okay. I think Weibo Gaming should take a base on bot lane after this wave. CS because Light is standing on top of them, and if you try to get in range to order them, they're just gonna harass you back. It's such an oppressive Maybe they can stack. Maokai's coming actually. And already. What's that? 600, 700 gold lead being built up for Weibo just off the back of these plates in the bottom lane. And Why am I so scared they're going to engage on them? Relatively healthy for Noah, but he's going to need to go back to base soon. And that base is going to be the hardest thing to get. You can see once again. Sejuani bot, Sejuani bot, Sejuani bot, Sejuani bot, Sejuani bot. The shy. Half maker from the shy, looking for the Q3, gets the knockup shield from Oscar. We'll keep him okay for the moment. Razzle spotted on a ward. Wait, wait, not the same as he's managed to sneak his way in towards this bottom side. That's always the the point of weakness for a Caitlyn Lux lane is after you've pushed this initial. When the Caitlyn Lux gets a base off, getting ganked on the then five, we're chilling. Six, seven minute timer, which but is why I, is so often I want dragons. I want dragons. Wait, 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 I want dragons. But Crisp and Light have done a really good job of cycling oh, no, through the vision. This tribush always warded by a five-second gap between the vision that they have kept to themselves, allowing them so much more safety. Because Trimby can. He's on a ward. 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 Minion, flash Q, wait, wait. Q feels like he's always so far behind. Yeah, they have blue gun. You can't base. Keeping track of where Razzle Maybe you can. Is it cannon wave? No, it's not. Pretty big advantage. Oh, I'm surprised no, I didn't blow that bot wave. Frankly, it doesn't matter. Weibo knows that as long as they keep this Caitlyn healthy, they are chilling. The tower siege, the, the team fight threat they're going to have the longer this game goes on. And again, that's mm. not to say the Fnatic don't have options in the in the team fights. We talked about this Olaf. This I don't know, man. This Caitlyn Lux fight. needs to get really far ahead. They have Alistar, Sejuani, Silas, Olaf. You know that's absolute there. fisting central? Yeah, right now, this bot These champs is, uh, need to be so far ahead. I'll believe it when I see it. Because right now, I'm not well. believing. So I like I like the idea, Caitlyn Lux. We get a CS lead. La 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 la. You're under your tower, but I don't know, man. Weiwei's already behind so many camps. He's down a full level. Boy, no. But Oscar can't follow that any further. Was worried about the all-out combo. Glacial Prison using Ult them back, ult them back. Xiaohu is caught out, but he gets the knockback under the tower. Humanoid flashes away. Xiaohu with the shield. And Kill him! Yes, sir! Xiaohu outplays the 2v1 in mid. Xiaohu's a Z. Big, I'm a Draker. He responds Big, Big. perfectly. Throws the ultimate out. Humanoid takes Oh my god, now Sejuani's on his top side with no ult. You're about to see an absolute, absolute fist on bot side. But he can't, and he pays the price. 
Holy fuck. Light. With a light binding into the snap trap, that's another plate going down as well as Noah tries to step forward. Good graviton for the route. Oh my god. It's unplayable in bot. Oh my god. If he gets their crocs, it's a Maokai ult behind them as well. They want war in this bottom lane and Weiwei is here to facilitate. Sejuan is getting herald. Steal away the camps as the rift held is being secure, but light now with the ace in the hole. And ace in his pocket. Oh my god, he saw it coming! He's the goat! Gonna come down on Chris, but Humanoid is trying to make his way down here as well. Flash is burnt from Light and Chris, but they will be able to dance their way to safety. Ace in the hole tanked by Trimby down to 180. Holy fuck, Light. Dancing on the edge of death, the brink of the abyss. Able to survive and now does have Fuck you, Cajal. I don't know who to cheer for. I love both teams. Yeah, well, I love Weibo just that little bit more. Oh, yeah! That's him! That's Krispy Kreme! Don't need no Nautilus, bro. Give him those range supports. And look at how quickly this game feels like it's falling apart for Fnatic. Razork is not finding anything on the map right now. This tower is falling apart in the bot lane. Zhao, who gained so much off of that roam from Humanoid as well. I think Fennec fucked this draft so hard. On, I think this Alistar pick just lost them the whole game. I don't know, man. It's so obvious they're gonna go Cape and Lux. Why are we playing Alistar? We? What do you mean we, Mark? You want Weibo to win? Yeah, I know, but I'm European. Oh yeah, European. That's what we did. You yeah, but I've been I've been playing and watching the LEC for a fucking ten years. Oh yeah, cool. I don't be casting. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You traitor. You tra It's not traitor. It's not traitor. Okay. It's just. The shy. That's the only thing. Yeah, but but what? But what? There's no buts. Okay, then no we is it? No we is it? Just Weibo and and if they're out, then we, then we. But now there's no we because Weibo's not out yet. They just start blasting them more though. So Razzle did walk over a ward as nah, he came he across. But he tried to make it fast, like it yep. didn't matter. Look at this this hesitation. A humanoid like double backs. Yep. And if he'd kept walking, yo, Krispy Kreme makes it out. Now who's in danger? Yo, 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 Chris, 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 Chris. Oh my god, he missed the W flash. Puts on an absolute clinic. He's dead to the small cow though. No, he's not! Yes, he is. There's Alistar. Can he flash out? Can he flash out? Flash out, flash out, flash out! I don't believe it though. You know, Weibo. I think this game is losable for I mean, Weibo. That's not a bad trade for I'm them. not even yes, kidding. Lost Chris, but I'm not even kidding. I, mean, it was actually Chris, I actually think they the can kill. lose. I guess depending on your perspective, could be a good thing. He is building AP. Yep. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. Caitlyn Lux, it's insane in lane, but something Welcome tells me that this is just going to get comboed in a team oh, fight and die. Good. We're going back quite a ways now. <laughs> Trimby, not even level 6 yet. The snipe that comes through. If Trimmy had popped the ultimate, maybe he would have had enough resistance to survive. Oh, actually, I think he tried to pop yeah, it right there, at the end, just but the animation late. not quite fast enough. Yeah, you can see him pressing the R there. He's frustrated. This game is falling apart very quickly for Fnatic. The TP comes in from Humanoid. He's trying his best to work as Razak to look for something. The chain CC, the Weiwei and Jahu quick to collapse themselves. Weiwei roots up Humanoid. We can win. We can win. We can. We can. We can win. Crisp gets that kill. Let's go, Weibo. And, uh, Weibo's then forced to retreat, seeing you made Trimby cry. Earlier. No, I didn't. The ultimate Shut the fuck up. In range means that they don't have the damage. We need to get this bot tower. It doesn't really change here. The damage continues to come. Oh, and Crisp just From nutted. Weibo's bot lane, 111 CS. Chip, chip, chip. The problem is Fnatic can't get practice against Kate and Lux because no one in Europe can play it. <laughs> the only person who can maybe play it is upset. But still, the vision control from Weibo allows them the luxury to step up this far in the lane. You can see Oscar starting to win some trades against the Shy, but you don't really want to dive. The Ragnarok can be extended a little bit, but as it expires, you don't want to be Comp, yeah, Comp can play it with Trimby, but it doesn't have Trimby. Extending his lead in mid lane as well. 20 CS up. The Shy has flash. Also has ult. He has the damage to get the kill here. No TP for Oscar with his back being interrupted. Shy, the Shy rather, can push that underneath the tower. How being spawned mid. Not optimal. Maybe Perks AD could play it as well, but you don't play AD this. no more. They're going to. 
Blast him. Get that herald. He's fine. No, he's fine. He's fine. You're fine, right? You're dead. How much CC do they have? That's through Merc Treads. Ult them. Again. He made the same mistake again. Fuck him. Get him, Shahu. Get that Conqueror stacked. Get him, baby. 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 You're. Are you griefing? Boom! Bang! That's it. Four kills quickly picked up for Look, Fnatic, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it had to happen like this. this Finally returns I told to you to not be game one endies. I told you. I told you not to be game one endies. You didn't believe me. Fnatic are crumbling under the pressure of Weibo. And the darkness starts to encroach. For Fnatic, what can the you chat is flip-flopping. I can see it. Four and a half thousand gold behind your towers now falling. They were falling but I will say, I, I don't think Humanoid should have... Like, like he, they died to overcommitting on his ear, and then they overcommitted on his ear and died again the same way. Weibo are ahead. The only saving grace is top lane is even. That's about it. And Razzle has a thousand gold lead. But when you look at that lane economy snapshot from MasterCard, the bot side of the map, is a disaster zone for Fnatic and delight for Weibo. I mean, it's a two-level lead. Humanoid's about to get level 10, but the experience difference... In no, G2 will massive. win next game. Is unlocked on the map. He can G2 start will win next game. Taking these towers Don't worry about it. Completely uncontested. They chose this pot lane match. The thing is, Fnatic's comp, they knew they were playing into they're playing game. four melee champs. You know what that and means? That, that means answers, go fucking fight. Go force Herald, go force Dragon, go force Dragon, go force Herald. Zhao doesn't have TP yet. I think they give this Weibo, no? You wanna fight this? Oh my god, I think this is the only way they can lose the game is this Herald. No joke. Like, the game is actually losable here for, for Weibo. I told you! Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? I mean, it's three kills and a herald. Oh my god, Oscar they gave a huge shutdown to Olaf. Only way they win the game is Olaf. Only way they win the game is Olaf. Into the crit, into the kill. Nicely done there by Light. But looking back at this fight, look at the positioning of Oscar Rennen. You see him skirmishing with the Shire at the top. Weiwei is going to be forced out of the fight very quickly. Humanoid going to steal away the Maokai ultimate. No. Yes, he does. He steals away the ultimate. Comes through. Kill him. Humanoid now caught, though. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Headshots from Light. Taking heads, taking names. They can't afford to make those mistakes. That was a massive play that they found. I believe the Herald was dropped top, so they did get a bit of gold back. The deficit not quite as dramatic as earlier. It's still two and a half get this top tier one. The way you play Caitlyn Lux is you only play for towers. Just play on lanes. Don't walk into river. Ooh, what's this? What's inside this bush? An Alistar! Boom! You're fucking dead now, idiot. Just hit towers. In the mid game, Razzle trying to come in from the side here, but Weiwei and Crisper here to defend their mid laner. I think Xiaohu up Nice, top tower. Now, now we push top, and we, what do we do? We don't walk into their jungle light. We can walk, we can walk into that bush and reset, but yeah, we don't have to show it again. My, 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 my Azir got one shot by an Olaf. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Olaf. Look at him, he's balanced. That shield comes back to sustain as well. Honey fruit as well. That's the terrifying thing about this Olaf. If he gets strong enough, he can do a nice flash there from Noah. That could have gone very wrong, but he does get it. Olaf is a good pick right now. We need to be careful and we need to what? Respect. Respect. My Caitlyn has got good items, but it's got no damage first. Olaf. a nuisance for Fnatic. It's kind of why it was nerfed on the current patch. 
your ability just to fire an ace in the hole on a relatively short cooldown means the enemy dragon in one minute what are we going to do we're going to push mid and then we push mid and then mods we put down a trap like line okay full effectiveness here Weibo gaining control of the bottom side of the map with a minute on the drake it would be their third sole point you wonder if Fnatic will decide to fight over a chemtech drake often left as one of the less impactful drakes but when fights are close and when you have an olaf as well if you can get that chem soul it can be very powerful in the right hands Cassante as well uses it to don't look cape and items doing a good job of controlling yeah he needs ie once he gets ie he's and, he's uh, fucking kit to check all of these but right now i don't actually don't think he does that much damage to like olaf sejuani anyone that well knows league of legends knows of the fanatic brush you think it's one, but it's all of them. They'll do it anywhere. Uh, but not today. You got a BF sword in base for me when you sell that cull? Thoughts? Thoughts and feelings, feelings and thoughts? And you imagine that okay, a crit cook. That tower Is that tower dead? dead? Okay. Okay. We got Leandries. The third one being you know, Weibo, I'm going to give you a very interesting take here. I don't even think you need to fight this dragon. There, you can Weibo. drop it. Chemtech soul and sucks. Kate doesn't have IE yet. Now, it would be pretty insane. And... But like it seems unlikely with the power that we could Weibo lose the game here. You Weibo could just give this. this. Dragon, this but TPs I get it. We're going to walk in. We're going to put traps down. Guys. Let's fish it. Fish it. Fish it. Put your hand in the jar, but don't put your fingers in, you know? Shy, look at the humanoid as well. Although Oscar probably wins that matchup. I'm not sure humanoid does sitting on only the Leandries and a couple of components TP oh we're teeping teeping hey, hey, hey don't get engaged on trying to get the mid priority so they can then work around still vision behind them they were unable to clear that all out and now with the shy as a front man leading the phalanx yeah poke them where are my traps at look to see if that olaf is tanky fanatic. do get mid prior for the moment but the shy waiting in this bush we'll be able to deny them more yeah pokey poke pokey Final poke spark, smoky smoke trimby down to half he still nice has control the choky choke looking for someone shall who the target glacial prism hits Nice flash, Yahoo! Nice binding! Kasante, but the Caitlyn's on in the fight. Yahoo needs a hit, 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 hit! Help, 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 help! Light cleanse flash, out, E, E, auto, E, P, E, auto! Yeah, the Shy! The Shy is frying! Frying the cheeseburgers! Trimmy's dead! Razork's gonna have the flash, but he's gonna go into the thingy! You, my lord! Down! Caitlyn ult that Sejuani! Shoot it! Shoot the pig! Die, Razork! No! Kill! Baron. 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 Everyone walks away alive, blinking health bars, but huh. it is enough. The Almost grilled, Chris grilled Sejuani. And Fnatic are left with little light. Okay, yeah, it's over. So now it's over. Death, but he flashes away. Now it's over. Shao, the same. Now Those it's over. Trimby trolled. Providing Did all he? that they need. You see the initial health bars. The what did Trimby do? Oh my God, Trimby. Who gets him to safety? The return engagement. Oh Kimo, my god, Trimby, Trimby, Trimby. Trimby. Alone, He also W's Katie away. Light flashes away on the side, and then with everyone now safe, they can play the front to back. They can play the chase down. The shy locking up Noah, getting a summoner's foul. Oh, Trimby, man. Just no, don't. Yo, listen. I'm going to say one thing. If Fnatic lose this game, don't flame the players. Don't say replace Trimby. Don't say terrible Alistar pick. Don't say humanoid dies to a zero two times same read. Listen, don't flame them. Don't flame them, man. If you look at Fnatic's year, the fact that they're even at a series decider, one ones to get top eight, when you look at their year, respect. Their year was dog shit. They got fucked in so many ways with roster swap, trash bot lane, swapping in and out players, Oscar breaking his hand, coaches being replaced. One Nexus away from ending. Bro, don't flame the players. Remaining this the start of the year, everyone said Razork and Humanoid was trash in winter. Now everyone says they're the best, and yeah, they're playing insane this world. Yeah, I think this game's done. Sadly, I'm sorry, Fnatic. And Weibo continue to find their I'm sorry it had to be you, but Weibo is winning worlds. I've been saying this for two years, they're winning the world championship. And I'm sorry that you're in the way. You are not... It's nothing personal. They don't hate you. We don't hate you. It was not your fault, it was not our fault. It just happens to be that we're against you. 
a bounty. And you will not stand in our way. Something for Fnatic and I agree, Betty. I don't know if they can hold. The Glacial Prison finds Chris, but he's able to survive. The Ragnarok comes out. The Moonlight Vigil does nothing as Weibo continue to advance. And now, perhaps, they take a moment. They retreat, but Light says no. He steps back forward. Get the towers. Get the towers, boys. Wrap it up. towers begin to be brought to the ground. The engage from Razor. Noah trying to do what he can as the Shy is forced Kill down towards the bottom side. Trimby down as he look for an engage. Kill Silas. Don't kill Razor. Don't kill the Cachorrita Mala. Leave him. Leave him. Let him live. Let him live. I'm sorry. Razor, I'm sorry. Let's, lo siento. Lo siento. Let Razor live. Razor. No, no, Light. Stop it. <laughs> Weibo smoked the doubters. Oh, medic. <laughs> A clean game three from Weibo. They knew exactly how to deal with Fnatic's comfort. They saw that Aphelios lock in. Today, there was and no they winners. Respond with Xiaohu's Azia and Light's Caitlyn. Two incredible performances. Today, was there was no winners. Weibo with the better team fighting. And another LPL team will join their brothers I'm in the sorry, quarterfinals. I'm sorry, Fnatic. Just one more to go for the LPL. BLG knocking on the door as well. Fnatic put up a good fight, game one. A valiant effort. Probably the best I've seen them play, maybe this year. Definitely one of their best performances. It gave hope to the European fans. There was optimism. But at the final hurdle, they could not make the jump. Big shout out to Razork. Fnatic has had a very difficult year overall, but this man, has come up clutch so many times for the organization. Helped bring them here. And they take about. It will be a frustrating Kay. loss for these players. They knew that they were close. They were optimistic that they could do more, but they could not do it. It was Weibo's day today. I'm sorry, Fnatic. They will move forward. You tried your best, finals. but we will win worlds for you. And they're back amongst the best. And they're back amongst the best. Obviously, commiserations to Fnatic. It hits hard. We will win worlds for you, okay? Especially getting that close with. If you want to join the hype train, you can. Did it all. Your Oppo player okay. of the series. 100k. He had an